Hey there, welcome. I hope you can hear me. I've been running into some technical difficulties with the sound and stuff like that. I've been trying to figure some stuff out. Um, hopefully it's all fixed. Welcome to the stream, guys. If you're brand new to the channel, um, every week I do a couple of drawings here. And uh, basically I, I uh, give one away for, to a lucky viewer for free. Uh, this week I'm going to be keeping one for myself because today's stream or subject is pretty special to me. Um, I'm going to be drawing my best friend in the whole world, my little, my, my, my late buddy backup, um, who is a English Labrador retriever. And I raised him as a pup um, and had him for a good long 12 years. And he was my shadow. Um, uh, he was with me pretty much 99% of the time. So uh, his presence not being with me is, is uh, it feels like part of me is missing. So today I figured I did uh, Millie and Georgia. I apologize for the stream being a little bit late today. Um, my, uh, my father picked them up uh, from the household. So the house is very, very quiet right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the pitter patter of uh, little 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 rats running around, little uh, little shitheads as we call them. No, I'm joking. Uh, it, they're they're wonderful. Um, I don't know how George is going to take it. George are pretty pretty much bonded with me a fair bit. Um, let me put on some music for you guys. Hopefully, this time around, you guys will actually be able to hear it. Sorry. Uh, Robones on kick. Good to see you. Thank you for the drop it in. Say, I imagine you're spamming that message to tons of channels. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I'd rather you come in and say hi and, and uh, get to know me first. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. <laughs> Much love. Anyway. OK, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to start off with uh, a couple of drawings. I'm going to take this off because I was just supporting my wrist for a bit. Uh, I have a bit of a carpal tunnel syndrome in my wrist. That's why I was wearing that. Um, so for those that don't know, I am on YouTube. I am on Twitch. I'm on D live. I'm on Trovo. I'm also on a new platform called kick. And that's what we're promoting up here in the top corner there. Uh, kick is a, you know, it's in beta, uh, definitely worth checking out. It's if you're familiar with things like Twitch, it's kind of using the same source code. Uh, so it'd be very familiar in terms of the way it's set up. Um, but you know, if you go there, you'll notice there's no ads, no advertising, no banners that pop up, no ads that interrupt the stream. Um, yeah, so worth worth checking out. Um, OK, I'm just wiping this stuff off this mat here. Uh, we got to get into the into into drawing. Um, we might do a little bit of painting as well. <gasps> Ooh, that reminds me, I didn't get water for uh, the paint if we're going to paint today. Um, I should probably do that. Ooh, boy. Okay. Um, let me see. Hey, Stephanie, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for, for coming in and saying hi. Much love. <laughs> good to see you. We, um, I was just explaining that, uh, the subject matter today is pretty special to me and, um, that we're, uh, we're going to be getting in there today. Let me, um, let's just disable that. Perfect. I just need to grab a thing of water because if we're going to paint, I need to be able to use stuff for my uh, my paintbrush. Um, yes, yes, yes. Give me one quick second. I'll be right back. OK, OK, OK. Got myself some water here. That'll be good. Put it up here in the corner. And got some napkins just in case I make a mess, because I normally do. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. For today's stream, the subject is back up. And uh, we'll grab some paper here. I only need one. One paper. Uh, which one would you? All right. Okay. Let me see. I've got okay stuff and it's so a light. Okay, uh, guys, and let me know if the sound is okay. I, I know my stream has been plagued by sound problems the last few. Oh, oh, you saw the la end of it. Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, I mean, Steph, I, no worries. At any time, like, honestly, like, I apologize if I was in the moment and I didn't say goodnight to you when you left the stream uh, yesterday. I was, I, I know I was getting super frustrated with uh, the difficulty kind of spiked at the very end there. <laughs> Sound is okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, Elizabeth, you, you mentioned you're not having problems typing in on D Live. Is that um, is that persisting for you? Um, you're not access, able to access. I mean, you're, again, you're always welcome to uh, to join me on any of the other streaming platforms. Uh, I see you also uh, saying hail my brother on on Kick. Much love, Elizabeth, for that. <laughs> hey, Pablo, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I need photo reference. Hold on a second. I mean, I, I know my boy pretty well, but I, I still need um, a photograph because that will uh, that will help me. <laughs> uh, where am I going here? Uh, photos of my boy. So, yeah, the house is eerily quiet right now. The girls got picked up today. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. I didn't think I would notice it as much as I am now. Um, let me look. I'll go, oh, I'm on the wrong section. Hold on. How do we get? Camera. Oh, there's a lot of photos to choose from. Ooh. Let's do this one. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Okay, I think everything's good. I think we're all we're all gravy. <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, I um I realized when I did uh, the drawings for my parents, which I loved by the way. They um they had a tough time deciding which ones they wanted. But they picked Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. You know what I need to do is I need to make a mat that has my my um, my logo on it. That's what I need. This is actually a nice soft, soft mat that uh, I got off redbubble.com. Just a little plug there. Um, uh, got it from my, my shop, my store. Um, what it is, is it's basically like a giant mouse pad. So underneath, it's got this nice kind of um, soft. So it's very spongy. It's very like I can push on it and it's it uh, feels like a mouse pad, giant mouse pad. It's for a desk, right? Um, but what I have been using on the streams is I've got a, like a cutting board, um, self-healing cutting board. I just got it flipped over here. And I've been using this to kind of do our drawings and paint just to protect the mat. I don't want to ruin it. Um, but thank you. Thank you for... See, what, Stephanie, you're, you're so much of a help to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> much love. Um... All my mods are all I appreciate all of you guys big time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit of a forgetful kind of guy, too, so. I mean, th those who've been hanging out on the stream long enough, know know me well enough that I've I, um, I'm a bit of a goofball that way. I use humor to 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 laugh it off to hide my embarrassment and mistakes. <laughs> Pablo. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you are you are you saying that that you, you would like to uh, to volunteer some mod um, capabilities? Like, would you would you be interested in becoming a mod on my channel? I never want to ever force it on someone. My call, my call. Well, it, it see, I my with my mods, it's it's a calling. It's kind of like if you're if you're willing to um, do things. I mean, I don't I don't make requirements of of, of my mods. It's all volunteer, obviously, but. Um, 
you know, one day I would love to be in that position where I could actually have an actual paid position. That'd be amazing. Um, but those are called pipe dreams. <laughs> Um, but I'd be, I'd be happy to, to knight you if we, if you really want to level up. Um, let me, how do I do this again? Now, now Pablo, you're primarily on DLive and Kick. Are those the two platforms? Um, if you want to, it and it is. Okay. Well, D Dale, you consider yourself leveled up. I, I've made you a mod. D live and kick. Okay. I will make you a mod on kick as well. And, uh, yeah. And then, uh, what I can do is I can also mod mod you in the discord. If you, pref if you'd like. Um, so with, with, with that, you would, you will gain access to the mod, uh, section on the discord as well. Um, I will, I will get you on, on kick, uh, in a second or, um, soon, soon enough. And the, and the discord as well. But, but for now, consider yourself netted on DLive. <laughs> I I honestly think that, yeah, the the mods and stuff like that are forever, like, shifting and changing and whatnot. But. Just trying to out. I don't know. You can see any of this, actually, but I'm just going to try and. Trying to draw his general shape here. Oh my god. Uh, Pablo, you don't have to do that. Thank you, dude. Thank you for that. Uh, much love, man. Uh, one of the benefits of the mods as well, the mod ship, um, you know, and consider this like payment. Um, because my channel is subscriber only on DLive, um, I believe as as a mod, you you will still have access. Welcome to mod. <laughs> the planet mod. James Orkin, yes, I am. I am drawing a backup. Um, I believe it or not, I have yet to draw backup on on my channel. Um, you know, so it's been a couple, this week is about me being ashamed of myself. Uh, I was ashamed yesterday of not playing left behind. And, um, it's something I'd always been meaning to do. So I took care of that. And now I'm drawing back up. And, uh, and one of the reasons is I was doing drawings of Millie and Georgia, um, for my parents and, uh, Superstar got, kind of upset she was like how come you draw them and not back up and i kind of started thinking about it and going you know what i haven't drawn backup yet on the channel and so i mean part of it is that it's hard you know uh you watched oh sorry which which video did you see uh, i've been making shorts the latest shorts i've done I've been all the backup. <laughs> the last three shorts have been. Um... Oh my gosh, Pablo, Pablo, you're you're like the D life slut. <laughs> Aw, thanks, thanks, buddy. So right now I'm just sketching in kind of what what he looks like. Now, part, I guess part of, okay, so from the business side of things, guys, I I want to let everybody know that, of course, if you would like a, a portrait done 
of your of your loved one or pet or um, or something like that. I am open to commissions and stuff like that. I, my prices are incredibly reasonable and uh, I can do, always do something that will you hopefully treasure always. Um, so, yes, my art streams are a bit like an advertisement that way, but um, it's backups time. That's right. That's right. It's backup time. Um, I will admit, and I, 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 I think it's OK for me to, to say this, but I have been with SAR. We've been looking at um, possibilities of uh, what I like to call backup 2.0. <laughs> is that is that is that just silly or um but yeah i don't know we're 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 looking looking at stuff and um first of all we were we were entering into the realm of like we wanted to dog sit just so that we had the presence of of a of a dog in the home and felt like maybe that would be a good way to do it without kind of committing um but I think it would be healthy for me just because I've been, I don't want to say I've been depressed, but I just, his presence missing, I still feel it, right? So I don't, I don't always feel it. I just, uh, it's like a piece of, uh, a piece of me is missing. <laughs> But memories are good. Memories are things to be treasured. Memories are healthy. I mean, I get teary eyed about stuff, but it's because I just I feel a lot of emotion. Um, yeah. And yet again, yeah, there's a reason why I'm not using a face cam right now. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm a little upset at myself for not doing it when he was alive. But I figure today I'll honor. Yeah, it's like having a, a three year old for 12 years straight. <laughs> Just his uh, his level of intelligence and and whatnot. I mean, it was just really felt like there was such an amazing amount of communication that I had between him and myself that I could gesture somewhere and he'd get it. He knows exactly what I was talking about. And or I'd you know like I taught him uh, early on as a pup. I taught him as with sign language as well. Oh, 100%, James. He was, uh, he had a good, good, lighthearted personality. Okay, so I've got the ears kind of flopping. I don't know if you guys can even see this. You can slightly see it, right? And start seeing, seeing kind of a, I mean, he, he was, he was like, I mean, you could draw a stereotypical representation of the breed and it'd be almost looking like him right like he's he was he was a pretty good he had a lot of characteristics that were that make a a lab a lab <laughs> um faintly yeah i'm just i'm just lightly sketching it in just trying to get the composition and dimensions right like is it do a tooth here Maybe some more teeth back here. Ah, <laughs> uh. yeah, guys, if you're on YouTube, um, you know what helps out the channel really, really quite a bit. Believe it or not, it's simply you just click in that thumbs up button. Um, it it. It's that's what tells YouTube. Oh, OK. People like this. <laughs> so if you could all if you could all hit that, um, don't hit it twice, because if you hit it twice, you'll unlike it. <laughs> but if you could like it, that 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 helps out the channel a lot. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs> 
it is hard when you're starting a YouTube channel because it's like you need to get the snowball effect running. You need to you need to start somewhere. And so all these little things helps the channel so much to get that snowball running, because I, I really want it to, to to grow and reach out to more people. Um, basically, the idea here is we want subscribers. We want at least 500 subscribers so that we can unlock the communities tab. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I want to unlock the, the communities tab because that'll unlock things like me being able to do polls and uh, ask questions to the, the community and do a bunch of different community posts that aren't necessarily videos on the platform, which I think would be really cool. But it it's a kind of sucks that they hide it behind like you have to have 500 subscribers first. Um and we're 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 getting there. We're we're slowly getting there. Um my goal is to try to get there by the end of the year. That's that's my that's my personal goal. And if we don't make it, we don't make it. No big deal. Okay, so we got the we got this going up. Well maybe the fold of the year. I think that's good. That's really that's roughed in. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so do we want to paint? Do we want to paint today? Hmm. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, we have not done a Paris stream. We have not done a Paris stream. We uh, I know that was in the in the cards and then I got I got work and it was really, really difficult for me to uh, to juggle everything. And it's, it was one of the things that kind of got sacrificed along the way. I do. Have, I have a video um, of it and it's not up yet. It's still being polished, still being uh, still being worked on. It's on one. I've got like a couple videos that I'm all working on at the same time. <laughs> it's on there. So I I I honestly thought I was going to get that out by gosh, December. Um, and then life kind of got in the way. That's a, I think the one hard thing that I've been struggling with is how to, how do you continually live stream, make content and, um, uh, but guaranteed uh, Pablo, I, I will, I will, uh, I will give you a full heads up when that goes either live. I mean, I, I might just release the video on YouTube. But that's awesome that you were able to experience Paris. OK, so I need to figure out what how I'm going to approach this. OK, um, I need one of these. That's what I need. OK, I need that. I need brushes. I need brushes. Flat brush? I don't think I do. I really wish I picked one up. I've got all these round brushes. I've got a flat brush in here. So these are the brushes I've got. Um, I've got a flat brush, but it's really big. It's not. I can't really do detail work with it. But maybe. Oh my gosh! Why are they so difficult to get at? Like it's really big, but. Backup was big, so let's uh, let's maybe do that. Let's re you know what? Out! I just hit my head on the mic. Ouch! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's start. Let's fill in the background first. Maybe. I don't know what he. I love the forest, so maybe we'll go with greens. Your camera wasn't working. Yeah, a lot of times that's that's how you'd have to refresh. Yeah, you got to do a refresh. Anything from like a Windows update to things like that. Uh, the route because I want to get a flat a flat edge. I want to be able to use a flat edge, and on a round one, it's very hard to get precise um, on the edges. And that's kind of what when I use the background and stuff like that, I want to be able to score around the edge precisely and that's kind of that's why i want to use a flat brush because you can get like a right angle 
if you use a round brush, um, it has a different uh, kind of feel and effect, right? So a round brush is great, but you see, like it, it will it will separate, and uh, it's it it's not great for precise um, precise lines. Anyway, that's that's why. <laughs> uh, let's get a little bit of black and a little bit of white as well. Because we're going to do some mixing. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I got a green, a black, and a white. Uh, foresty stuff. Let's do maybe a dark green as well. We do a little bit of brown. So I, again, these are like a little dinky set, but it's 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 going to serve our purpose, right? I know these are like very tiny little little uh, little paints, but um, I normally am just drawing on on stream, right? I'm not really painting on stream, but we're we're starting to kind of dabble into into some things. Uh, I think it would be really cool to do some watercolors um, on stream. That'd be wild. Okay, let me grab the water. Okay, what are, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with, um, gosh, we're going to make, make a mix, brownish green, I don't know. Again, this is going to be background, right? So we really just need to. Lay in the color. So you can see it here. I got, I've got a pretty precise flow to it. We're going to just going to do random um, brush strokes in different directions for the background. green, a little bit of white, a little bit of water. So I do apologize for the again the the lateness of the stream today. Um, I was saying goodbye to my uh, my my father was picking up uh, Millie in Georgia, and uh, he actually stayed an extra day because of the snowstorm we had. Uh, we literally got thirty centimeters of snow all of a sudden all at once, and it was really wet snow. Um, and the road conditions were not good, so uh, he ended up staying. An extra day. I imagine he's dying to get home. He's been a, it's been over a month since he's been um since uh, since he's been home um and stayed a little bit longer than he expected. <laughs> so okay, a little bit too much black. Let's add a little white to it. We'll gray it out a bit. So my father, who's um, my 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 greatest critic, <laughs> let's say that he he's um, he's always been uh, he's he's a painter, right? So he is always been telling me, "Elf, you draw with paint. You don't paint. You take drawing techniques and apply them to your paintings rather than painting." 
um, by his definition, right? So I, I'm trying to see, okay, I need to just let go a bit and just kind of let the paint actually do the talking. Again, I'm still using drawing techniques. Um, I think it's just because that's what I feel comfortable with. But so painting is basically letting the paint, you know, let the strokes exist. Don't have to like blend everything together. Got my napkin as well. So what we're doing right now is we're just filling in a background. Um, you know, it's almost like the eye will blend, blend things out. But we want it as contrast to the, the drawing. Now, I've always been saying like my drawings are mixed media um, because I tend to mix pen with ink. Uh, with paint pens or, you know, Conte or charcoal. Um, I'd like to do some graphite drawings, but I have yet to figure out how to light it correctly so that it doesn't completely shine into the camera, which is not great for streaming. Um, but like, I, I love doing pencil work. Um, so it kind of, I got to figure out another way to do it. I think what I got to do is end up getting myself... Um, another light because I've got one light source and I've got the room lights, but I need a secondary light source so I can control the light on the image a little bit more. Um, and then that with getting a, a you know, a, a higher quality camera, I think would end up being the, the way to go. But I think what we got right now is, is it suits our needs. Um, I don't think it's, uh, it's holding us back, is what I'm saying. I think we can do it. Okay, so the question is, do I throw paint on here for the boy? Or do I use other mediums and separate the background by using a different medium here? I just realized I wasn't timing myself. I wasn't timing myself. Ah, screw it. <laughs> it's back up. <laughs> Is, but I don't know. I always try to make a challenge out of it, but um, hmm. again, if I put too much water on the page, it's going to ripple up a bit. I mean, we're using a very heavy weight paper. It's about a hundred pound paper, so it should be good. Um, but I'm kind of really interested to see what the contrast would be if I change mediums. Different medium might really emphasize the fact that it's background versus foreground. So I don't know. I think well, I think we'll maybe try that. Um, do I have any maybe some warm grays? Warm grays would be cool to use today. Um, I've got natural grays, cool grays. Let's bring out this is a warm gray set. Okay, so I've got here um, from Tombow. I've got a, this is like for flesh tones, um, basically what is for portraits and stuff like that. This is a water-based uh, pen, which has two nibs. It's got a brush nib at the top and a kind of a uh, finer pen, pen nib at the bottom. Um, you know, it's, it allows you to do different, different techniques, right? So I figured let's maybe try that. Um, my go-to always is after I've laid down a base is to, um, to bring things together with pencil crayon and stuff like that. Um, ah, okay. Let's, let's play today. All right. I mean, he's a yellow lab, so is, this isn't really a warm gray set, is it? I grabbed the wrong ones. No. Well, let's let's use our tester. We're going to use a te I forgot about my tester page. Let's do this. Even though it's gray, though, it might change the, the color a bit. What does this look like? 
that looks pretty good. All right, let's play. Let's play a little bit. Idea is to have some fun. I'm going to use the, the brush tip because it will, I think, go better with it. Now, it's a water-based pen, so there it is actually applying water to the to the page as well. His nose. <laughs> so the way I'm going to choose, I let my parents decide what drawing they want to keep. I'm going to do the same thing with Sar. She's going to be able to choose what drawing she wants, and then the uh, the the other drawing is going to be given away to a viewer in chat. I think that's a good way to do it. Um, the giveaways have been something that I want to still maintain and still do uh, throughout. Uh, I'm sure it will help. I'm sure it will. I don't think I'll ever truly get over it, to be honest. I mean, he was such a such a part of me that it's really hard to kind of say that I'll ever be getting over it. But I mean, his memory is going to stay alive with me forever. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go about it is to, to have Superstar be the one that choose. Um, for me, it's going to be too too hard a choice. <laughs> Good to see you, Hendrik. How you doing? Yeah, <laughs> did I always put my hand in it already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I would do. I'm sure. I always had this like, I always looked like he was smiling. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm full accept, like, like death is a part of life, right? Like it is, it, it's a stay, it's a stage. I gave him as, you know, the best life I possibly could within my means. Um, and in return, he, you know, he, he, he gave me everything, right? So I can't, uh, I can't complain. That's the one thing I can say to everyone is to, you know, if you've got a pet, definitely uh, take pictures, take videos. You can never have too many. Right. Same thing with kids. Right. If you've got kids, you know, like. You know, these are these are things that you'll, tr you'll treasure always. And it floods so many memories back. <laughs> for dogs and stuff like that, especially when they're puppies, they don't stay puppies very long. <laughs> I mean, in truth, they, they stay puppies their entire life, but they don't look like puppies. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. They, um, they grow up pretty damn quick. All right. I'm going to do his... For, for many years, we had him with a red bandana. I that so we might be a bit weird. We had our dog. Um, our dog was microchipped, of course. Um, but we never we didn't often put a collar on him. He didn't wear a collar. Uh, his tags were on his. He had a body harness that he would he would wear because he was a he was a big boy, and uh, 
a leeching collar when you could not control him, right? So, um, but yeah, he was a bit of a bit of a wild dog that way, in the sense that he never never had a collar on. Um, his tags were he had tags, but it just wasn't. Uh, I don't know. He had such a gorgeous neck that I was like, well, I couldn't couldn't bring myself to put a collar on him. Okay, I've got. I want this to be uh, his bandana. Laying in some. I want to be able to put, like, we're going to use a bit of the paper, but at the same time. Let's see. That's too dark. Do I have a lighter one? I might have a lighter pen. Uh, I need to get a little bit more organized. Where is everything? <laughs> oh, elf. I swear to God, I had one. It's a lighter, lighter pen. All right. Well, we'll, we'll I'm gonna grab. It is mixed media, so we're gonna grab some uh, Copic markers now. <laughs> again, again, has a brush tip on one end, and a uh, almost kind of like a what you would see is like like a highlighter nib at the other end. Um, but we're gonna use the brush. We're gonna stay with the brush. Now, the difference is that these are alcohol based. So there'll be a bit of a different reaction on the paper than the water. But it won't necessarily blend in with the water, water, water pens, water brushes. I can't speak. Uh, what I've been also been meaning to do on the uh, on the Discord is I need to I want to make some suggestions of games that we could play narratively for our solo um, usually Monday streams. Um, I have a I have a bucket list of of games that I really want to play, so I figured what I do is I put them up there and uh, maybe get you guys to kind of maybe vote or something like that on them and or express interest of what you would love to see. Um, because the the channel's not just for my pleasure, it's for you guys as well. So if there's if there's a game that you would prefer over another, um, it'd be, be a good way for you guys to let me know. I landed on my bed second time. They landed on the floor. <laughs> they had a I thought you said first fight for a second. No, first flight. <laughs> I'm like, why were they fighting? <laughs> well, that's cool. They were flying in sync together. That's cool. Okay. This is super light, so it's kind of... it's. know if that is the effect I want, but we'll see. I think I think what I need to do is I need to I need to I need to get his um his eyes in place. Once his eyes are there, then the rest will all fall into place, I think. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going in with a, a um, fine tip uh, black Sharpie. Just because you get a nice, nice black. He always he always looked like he was wearing mascara <laughs> to me.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it's like, because I think maybe a lot of dogs have um, spotted skin or, you know, like if you shave them, they actually have, it's surprising what they would, would actually look like. Um, that there's, you know, the skin is either got spots or. so far it's pretty much take a better pen here listen front of me so what we want to do now is we're going to focus on where the dark parts of the drawing would be where exactly would the be the darkest darkest points in the drawing so the mouth is definitely going to have a lot of black in it the nose area as well and then we'll have a nice shadow i think that comes down below the jaw i think it's the way to go The birds, birds have kind of an equivalent of a thumb. Where the nose is, yes, the nose is here, in the front. <laughs> I'm using that line to kind of be that that center line of the nose. Um, have your nostrils, and then really we should block this out. But I'm just trying to think of where the. blends in with everything else. So maybe we'll do that with color first and then we'll mark it up. Um, yeah, let's do that. So this is not black. This is almost black. That's what I'm using right now. It's a um, very, very dark, dark gray. But it's on for you guys, it's probably reading as black, black, right? There is a tiny subtle difference. 
Um, that's that's I think one of the things I've really struggled with with art streams is the fact that no matter what I do, even on my end, is the fact that I can't control what somebody else is viewing it on, whether it's a phone, whether it's a computer and what kind of color um, alterations they've done on their on their uh, their end. So it's like it's it's one of those impossible things to um, to kind of not say have control over, but you want to communicate, you know, the, the itself in its truest form. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -mm. Okay, and then this mouth be open here like that. That's kind of like the tongue. Uh, yeah, paddle streams, they could be they're um, they're easy and yet also difficult at the same time. Right. You have to make sure that you have a subject matter that you're going to be talking about, have a plan. Don't go in there not knowing what to talk about. Um, it's it's always good to like because there uh, there's always going to be those moments of what they call uncomfortable silence. Right. Um, you want to make sure that you've got a. Uh, subject or theme to talk about and for you know for those quiet times This is going up here to this, this side as well. That kind of just kind of disappears, right? Uh, that's the other thing they say not to do. Don't ever watch yourself. That's um that's one of the things like like you said, you were giggling because you were seeing yourself on on a stream. Uh, you want to you want to avoid that. You don't want to actually watch yourself at all, um, which is kind of like why. I'll, oftentimes, you'll, I'll ask if you know if I'm if I'm streaming. I'll ask you know it's is, is everything okay? Am I in position? I'm in the right spot. <laughs> I will generally look um, just generally to, for position wise, just to make sure that I'm in frame. But that's it, and then I just I just simply don't watch it. Let's have that kind of fold down like that. That's true. That's true. Yep. I mean, you, you get the right people on your on your panel as well, and uh, you never run out of things to talk about. <laughs> that was one thing. Like when I was. Um, you know, I'm still starting out, so it's like I'm not even I would never call myself. I mean, I I, I even have a hard time calling myself a streamer <laughs> like um, which technically I guess I do stream, but. Um, you know, it was kind of like I my ideas about what streaming was um, first going in has, you know, has changed over 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 its course. I mean, I'll, I've only been doing this for, uh, what, two years, two years now. Um, and there's like so many differences now that, that like when I first came in, I was like, okay, I gotta be, I gotta do a show, right? So it's gotta be like a structured show with production value and, and this and that. I always had this kind of thing. Like I had to do it this way. I had like, it was, it was, um, and then I started to, 
I started to realize I need to relax a bit and just kind of just, you know, I just got to be authentic and real and not, not try to, you know, have to like think that, oh, you know, we got to pretend like this is this huge show and, and all that. Like, I don't know. I, my, my whole, the way I approach things now is very different. Yeah, I'm not a streamer. <laughs> I also don't like the term influencer. <laughs> that, 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 I bet, you know, I guess the industry, that's the way they describe it. And I'm just like, I, I get, uh, it's so different. That's not why I do this. I really, at the heart of it, it's just, um, it was at the time of COVID and, and I wanted that sense of communication and friends. And, and so I, uh, that's what kind of brought me to it. And it was kind of like, it was actually video games. I was streaming from my console because it, a, it was easy. It was a click of a button and I was playing a lot of games. And, um, I think it was superstar was saying like, well, you might as well stream while you do it. Cause it's like. Otherwise, you're just playing games all the time. And I was like, OK. Hey, Marco, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> how are you? Um, yeah, this is I'm just drawing a dog here. Uh, this is my my dog backup, who's an English Labrador retriever. And um, just experimenting, playing with some different. Different ways to lay in some of the darks and stuff like that. <laughs> well, we're not going for hyper realism. Um, we're just going for like, I guess, impressionism style. It's kind of an impressionistic, you know. I guess it's going to be interesting doing this bandana, I think. It's a red bandana, so I'm going to have to put it in shadow a bit. Um, but yeah, we're just being loose, just being loose enough. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, though, man. Thank you. Like, truly. Now, see, this is probably all reading black, but it is a dark gray. Now, once I put a black in there, maybe that will change. You'll start seeing that there's a lighter. Let me go closer. There's like a little bit of a lighter shade, right? So once I drop the black in, then all of a sudden that becomes a color. It's, it, that's the thing I think I think that is the most fascinating thing about art and about drawing is that when you, colors will change based on the juxtaposition it is with another color. So and that's what I think what is real a big turn on for like abstract art is the fact that it is a play with a lot of times the color in juxtaposition with each other and shape uh, and then linear elements, too, and all that kind of stuff. And it's more of the artists going, hey, how can I change this very same color in different ways? Um, and people that are in tune with that and pick up on that are incredibly entertained by that interaction. And I know a lot of other, a, lot, a lot of people go to the abstract work and go. Well, it's just a red circle. Like, why is that art, right? Um, there's a lot more going on, <laughs> and I think I, I think it's pretty cool. I, I you know, I, the the stuff that I struggle with is um, high concept art, not concept as in terms of like movie concepts or designs or that kind of stuff. More of like conceptual art in the sense of this is a chair in a room with a piece of shit on it. Um. And it's more about the story behind the subject than aesthetically what the subject is. Um, and I just that that I have a hard time. Like, I think that should be secondary. That's my opinion is that, you know, the aesthetic has to come first um, and then everything else comes after. But I know there's many people out there that disagree with me and that's OK. That's OK. We can we can disagree. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, 
Mystic, how you doing? Hello. Welcome to the stream. We are drawn uh, maybe a familiar face back up. Okay. I already used this one, didn't I? Let's see. Do I have another? I need more of a... Is that going to be too green? -y? Is that going to be greeny? I really need a... a, a I need a non-gray tester. That's a bit more green than I want. I don't want green. I want more brown, please. Hey, Julia, how are you doing? Jim, or James, uh, cool. We could, we, I could certainly uh, talk to you after the stream about that. Maybe we could do some sort of thing for, uh, for next week's art stream. I was, uh, Pina, Pina is a, uh, I, you have pictures of Pina. Yes. I really don't, I think this is going to be too green. I got to test it. I need to test it. Okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I thought it was going to be too, too greeny, but it's actually okay. I mean, my, I've been doing, um, I tend to be doing things in themes. It seems like, uh, just kind of naturally. That's the way it's, it's, it's gone. I did a last of us, um, kind of drawing theme and now we're kind of doing, focusing on some dogs. Yeah, I, uh, Julia, I was, it's, I, Superstar made me feel really guilty. <laughs> She was like, you did these drawings of uh, of Millie and Georgia, and my parents were like super happy and 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 whatnot. And she's like, why didn't you ever draw back up? And I can't. And, I, and she's absolutely hundred percent right. I like I I'm I'm I have full regret of the fact that I never drew him. Um, while he was a perfect model for me, because he would sleep a lot. <laughs> And time is so precious, right? We got to make the most of the time we've got. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't ever take it for granted. You can't, you can't, um, you know, it's, it's so, the time we have is so precious because really we're a blip in the eye of existence, right? Like we, we, we're, we're here and then we're not. Um, and it's kind of, You know, I, and so and, and by saying that, I'm, I'm extremely humbled and in, incredibly thankful that you guys are a sp spending some of your time with here with me like that, that that already is an honor. So. Because because time is so precious, right? <laughs> it's. All right, so. Working this. I'm getting more of the fur. I want more of a shadow underneath. He had he had quite the mane. Like he had, he was um he was a big boy. On the bigger side of uh, labs, I guess. It's a way to. Slowly kind of building. I need to do a little bit more definition of the ear here, too. Um, I think, honestly, we're going to have to break out the, the pencil crowns because the color range on the pen pens that I have are kind of limited. I'm not going to be able to get the color I want. And I think I'm going to be able to do that with a pen or a pencil. Um, maybe let's try a little bit of... Hey, welcome back. 
Oh, good. Good. Yeah, it's it's slowly getting together. Labs can... Oh, yeah. Well, labs are like goldfish. And you're like, what? What are you talking about? Goldfish don't have a mechanism in their brain that tells them that they're full. And and it, it is an actual... I'm, I'm, I, this is fact. Goldfish will eat until their stomach burst. Like, they will continually eat, even if they... They, they don't have that thing in their brain telling, I'm full, I've had enough, I'm done. Goldfish will eat until they literally blow up their stomach. Um, labs are very similar to goldfish. They don't, they'll eat and eat and eat. There is nothing telling them to stop. <laughs> uh, and yes, backup could eat, backup could eat. But, but backup got uh, so much exercise that um, he was never obese. There was times where he put on weight. There was, um, but dogs are amazing. Like they 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 gain and lose weight very quickly. So what I'm doing is just putting a little bit of a brown wash on here just to see what will happen. Oh, do you have do you have goldfish, uh, Mystic? You you say you have a large tank. What what, what um, what size tank? I got into it for a bit. Uh, I wanted to really do a, like a freshwater ecosystem, um, with live plants and stuff like that. And then once we got like snails uh that i guess came with a plant one of the live plants one time they spread like wildfire there were so many snails i think probably snails are the horniest things out there because man do they have a lot of babies <laughs> They what? Uh, that and the URL stream. He found the bacon for me. I don't even remember that. What? He found bacon. <laughs> I do remember. Take. Uh, I remember we were. I wasn't streaming then, but I, I went to San Francisco, and we went to um, near the uh, near the near the bridge or the wharf area or something like that, and he was a pup. And he was going around saying hi to everybody and and just, you know, I was talking to a, a friend that I was visiting there. And uh, all of a sudden he shows up next to my side and he's got a crab claw in his mouth. And I have no idea how he got it, where he got it, who he stole it from. Um, but it was like literally a crab claw. And it was just like, what channel. the heck? Karaoke Cam with a hosty host. Song. Thank you, dude. What's up, Ken? How you doing? I hope you're well. We um, what were we talking? About? Oh, we were talking about like yeah, dogs that steal food. <laughs> I have, I don't don't know where he got it from. It was just hilarious though. I was just like I. Yeah. Oh, thanks. But yeah, dogs dogs are can be like kids. Um. I mean, no offense to goldfish. Goldfish are are, are nice, but they're not going to have the same relationship as as a four legged friend. Ken with a comment drop, much love, man. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So here again, in honor of my father, I'm drawing with paint. <laughs> I'm using the paint like a like a drawing tool rather than than what you're supposed to do with paint but that you know what that's okay we went around vancouver island one afternoon in an irl stream man why don't i remember this
Uh, it's because my mind sucks, probably. <laughs> my brain is not good. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, guys, on YouTube, can you are you guys seeing the messages pop up from other platforms? Not on my not these ones over here, not these ones, but actually in YouTube. Because I've I've noticed I went to a YouTube stream and I'm like, how come the messages from like DLive and Twitch and and Trovo are not showing up? Um, and there might be a, an issue that I need to talk to Restream about. Um, or if maybe they're only showing up in the live in the live chat, I don't know. Restream is not showing up. Okay, so there is an issue. So there is an issue. Okay, so you're not seeing the messages. Oh, okay. That's Elsa, so I need to I need to figure I figure out what's channel. the issue there. Because it used to be a different way that would, Whoa! How? MD with a with our celebration substreak. Elsa, I hope you like ice cream, because you got one. Hey MD, I hope you're well. Whew. Hey, Elsa, guys, diamond, stop it. <laughs> and <laughs> and a rare drop. My gosh, jeez. It's not showing up in the live chat. OK, so it's supposed to, Stephanie, and I didn't realize that it wasn't. Um, So I got I think I have to reset something or talk to Restream about why is it not showing up? Because it's supposed to actually what it's supposed to do, Julie, is it's supposed to, or sorry, Ju uh, Stephanie, is it supposed to, it's supposed to say in brackets what platform it's from, the person, and what they said. Because the whole idea about Restream Chat is to have cross-chat communication. Uh, because I, because I'm a, I'm a vagabond streamer. I don't, I don't, I don't belong to any platform. <laughs> um, there are platforms that I, I prefer, and there's platforms that I'm, uh, I'm a verified partner at, and there's platforms that I'm affiliated at, and there's part platforms that, but I, my, my whole concept is, it doesn't matter. It, what matters is the fact that you guys can communicate together. And, and if you can't, then that's when I get upset. So, <laughs> um, and there's, there's some people that take offense to that, that, that they're like, you know, you should focus on only one platform and it's, um, you know, when you're a second class citizen, if you don't, but <laughs> yeah. OK, so that's that that is an issue. That's a recent issue that I need to I need to get fixed, Stephanie. OK, I got to I got to work on that tongue, do some tongue work. I do like the fact that this is getting darker here. Hey, Carlos, how you doing? Appreciate you dropping in. We um, we're all, we're on the first drawing here, and I'm I'm just trying to lay in some. Probably YouTube blocking. Well, it's not. It, YouTube doesn't block it. Um, there's a. It, it's it's that. I think what it is, is when you there's a setting in Restream that it's like, I don't know if you've ever seen that people set up events and it's like a, it's showing an un upcoming stream for YouTube. Ooh, I put way too much black. Um, it, it, so with that, there's a problem with the fact when you when you set that up, there's something that, that happens where it will no longer. Um, communicate the uh the the other the other platforms because it's through restream right it's not youtube shouldn't be blocking it um so i gotta figure that out but now that i know that it's a fact and an issue we will um we'll investigate and we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll get it working again it's a it, that's the thing I, I learned early on is that streaming is uh it's an always a, a there's always going to be problems and you just got to roll with it and you'll end up fixing it eventually. Okay. 
I kind of actually like that effect. This is having... Nice. Now, how are we going to do the bottom? I think I need to put in some... Oh, that's going to be dark. But it kind of almost needs to be dark here. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's it's not um there's some some sort of bug. And so I need to fix it somehow. I just don't know I don't know what te on the technical side what I need to do. Uh but I will Remember we were talking about time being precious? <laughs> you find with streaming and, and, and when you encounter problems like this, time time uh time gets taken away. <laughs> Well, I know DLive has been doing some stuff on the back end, uh, a lot of changes, and so a lot, a lot of stuff has gotten uh, fooey. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, we got, we got, we got the boy looking somewhat, somewhat, somewhat his sexy self. Uh, Stephanie, it's been great to see you in cam streams too. I've been, I've been, I, I, I normally lurk as a mod there, um, but uh, and then some sub streams I'm not able to make. But, but uh, the streams I have been able, I've, I've seen you always over there and saying hi and uh, appreciate that. He, he's one of those guys that I mean, he's he was one of the earlier guys that that. Um, that a I had no idea he was in Vancouver and and or or not Vancouver but uh, the BC area and uh, I always thought he I mean he's he's a good streamer he just doesn't have the the time slot right like it's it's and he's a you know he's he's a father a husband and a lot of other priorities come first too but I I believe. Yes, yes, 100%, Stephanie, and I want him to embrace that. And oftentimes he gets he gets self-conscious um about looking bad on stream or looking like, you know, like or like that his gamer skills are in question. And I think it's one of the things and I think all of us have that that same thing where it's it's a sense of pride, right? Like you don't want to fail uh, something on stream and I'm trying to I'm trying to tell him like dude it's okay it's okay we're here to experience it with you and it's okay to be like I mean heck guys you've seen me I'm bad at games there's some games like I, that I just I I royally screw up and you know we laugh about it and blah 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 and it's sure you know but it can be entertaining it can be we just have to embrace it um you know it can be funny and and it's also like it's great for content too Oh yeah, no, no. I'm, this is not me saying saying you know everyone else is not going to a stream. I'm I'm not saying that. I'm saying I I I want to encourage everybody to, of course. And uh, I just I've always uh, I've always enjoyed. That's why I I asked him if he would uh, be willing to do some co-op stuff with me because um, I don't know. I I like the dynamic. I like the we you know we should tend to have fun. This is really wet. <laughs> this is really wet. I need to um check that. Okay, we're good. Yep. I need to let this dry. That's okay. Let's. Uh, Is this dry yet? That's dry. Okay, let's put on a base color for the tongue. Now, I don't want a purple. I don't. Oh, yeah. Listen, I I'm I'm I, I lurk a ton. Basically, because I don't have, I can't say hi. I, I'm, I'm working on stuff where I'm typing stuff. I'm listening to a stream more often than watching sometimes. Um, uh, yeah, Cam got help to come to DLive. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, and I think, uh, like, 
I don't know. I I think Cam needs needs uh, more more uh, more attention than he's given sometimes. You know, like he's just he's got some really funny moments. But also, I think also what I like him too is he's he's authentic and real. Like he's not he's not trying to be something else, right? And you can tell. I mean, I think most people can tell. It's just with being on the Pacific Coast, it's really difficult because by the time if it's late night, when you oh. When I get jump scared. Yeah, I tend to. I, OK, so I don't know what happens to me because I don't I'm not aware that I do this, but I'll watch back a stream sometimes and I look at myself and go, what the heck am I like? Why am I scream? I like I scream like a little girl sometimes. I just like I, 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 I do this high pitched scream and it's like I, I apologize if I hurt anybody's ears. I. <laughs> I um. But yeah, oftentimes, if you're falling asleep, I'll wake you up. <laughs> I'll wake you up when I get jump scared. I have yet to really play a lot of scary games on stream. I did do... Um, I did do a Resident Evil playthrough on NVR, uh, which is probably the scariest game I've played on stream. Um, and that was back when there was... Pretty much nobody watching me. <laughs> that was when I first started streaming. It's the first Halloween streaming. Um, I that's been that's been exclusive to Twitch. Um, but I think I think I might put it up on YouTube. Um, I think it might it might might be time to actually put it up. You know what? Maybe on come Halloween, maybe we'll put it up. I don't know. Uh, on my list of games to play, I don't think I have a scary game on that list. Um, but I'm not opposed to playing some scary games. I'm just... It's, it could be a little... Is this tongue too bright? <laughs> uh, the screaming is great. It's it's you playing. Oh, it's me that's bad. <laughs> No, oh, I know, I know. That's not what you meant. You meant, you meant the. It's, it's um, it's just how, it's how I play. Yeah. I'm either lewd, making stupid jokes, um, doing stupid stuff in games, like oh, I wonder if I can jump off this and then die, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's, it's it's just. But at the end of the day, it's just about having fun, right? Uh. Hendrick, you're going to hop on DLive chat. Uh, DLive right now is, uh, uh, is a sub-only uh, chat right now. But because I'm a restreamer, I do have other platforms. So people don't, it's not like people don't have access, right? <laughs> um, there's just been a lot of problems on uh, on that site. And it's um, there's not much communication about it, and things have to change there before I start. Things start to change on D Live. I will uh, my channel will change accordingly. But yeah, it's a sore subject, man. Interesting. I'm adding a, a bit of a pink to this. I kind of like that that look. Uh, Hendrick. Oh, don't worry, Hendrick. Hendrick, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, I am on kick. I am on kick. Uh, if that's what you meant to say, Julia. What do you mean I'm no kick? <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, I am on kick. Um, a kick, unfortunately, is not integrated with the, the restream chat. But we're hoping that that will uh, 
That will change in the future, but we're, we're working on ways to, to incorporate the chat a little bit more. But Kick is still just starting up, right? Like this. But I've, I've seen a lot of familiar faces on Kick, which is nice. It's always nice to bump into people that you're like, hey, I remember you. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to lay in um, some stuff on this bandana. And the only way I think we're going to be able to do that is with a paint pen. Although I need to mark out where, but you know what, let's, draw, let's, why am I afraid? I'm afraid because my, I've got a, I've got a, I got to sharpen my pencils. <laughs> you know what I got to do one evening is I got to sit in front of the TV. And uh, oh, oh, you're there and you haven't streamed yet. OK, no problem. Uh, what's not happening? Uh, looks like Restream isn't doing what now? Oh, you mean the, oh, uh, that? Chat on Kick? Yeah, no, uh, Kick has not integrated itself with Restream. Um, not yet. Uh, oh, is there a hydration on Ki on Twitch? Nope. Gotta use your points. <laughs> but no, thank you, Stephanie. It's that that is a more of a that's not that's not a, a using your points thing. That's a that's a. That's a survival thing. Yeah, I need. I should probably drink something. <laughs> I, I, I'm like goldfish. I, I don't have that thing in my brain that tells me to drink things. So I, I am gonna drink as proof. Right here, I got that lovely uh, blood potion. <laughs> ah, okay. Woo. Spicy. Awesome. Yeah, on you. Oh, on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Right now, we just determined that that's kind of broken. Is this? This is a scarlet. This is not. This is not the red I want. Maybe this one is. Yeah, that's the one I want. Sorry. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We got a bandana here. And the bandana has a mix of black, red, and white. Again, we're not going for for like super realistic. We're going for impressionistic. So, um, I'm just trying to think of what the best way to color this would be, because I need to put in the white for it as well. Chat, jeez, oh, no worries. I, listen, I, I am the same way. I, uh, you, you are in present company. I, I will think one thing and type another, or my brain doesn't, you know. And I'm also the, like that when I say stuff too. So, I'm great for I'm 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 built for streaming, right? <laughs> streaming is about communication and talking and chatting and uh, trying to entertain. Um, and sharing, and I'm, I'm ter, I, 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 I'm a stutterer. <laughs> I, I have a stuttering issue, um, which I try to hide. But I'm not a, I'm not ashamed of it. Um, I want to be better. I want, I end up repeating my word over and over again. Like I'll, I'll say the same word twice in a sentence or. I don't know if anybody's noticed that, that, that I, I tend to my I'm thinking about one thing and then I'm thinking about another while I'm saying the thing that I was thinking about. Oh, and then I get, hail, there's the a cross wire communication on Marco. Elsa's channel. Dude. Dude, my oh, crap, my my D life crashed. Hold on a second. I can't see what happened. <laughs> Something happened. Crap. Let me open it up again. Marco. Thank you for joining the party, man. Thank you for becoming a follower here. 
Uh, unfortunately, DLive right now is sub-only chat. But it doesn't mean I don't appreciate you. Um, I appreciate that follow. All right, we got we got this bandana kind of going up here. I was talking about, yeah, my speech patterns and stuff like that. So it's interesting when I was using the um, the voice uh, of the Elfsar on um, for the Adventures of Legends game that we would do on the stream. We uh, I found by using the voice, it was more me being theatrical, I guess. And so I it actually slowed things down for me and it allowed me to conquer some of those speech issues that I have. Um, but they eventually always come back, so. <laughs> okay. Now that I've got that kind of in there, maybe how will the paint pen react with it? Let's see. Hmm, maybe. Okay. Okay, it's working out all right. Hey, Marco. Uh, basically, Marco, there's just some issues on DLive that, um, that the only way to block it is to have subscriber-only chat. Oh, there's everything from like bo trolls to botting issues to um, uh, clip spam, that kind of stuff. It's just stuff that will disrupt not only this stream, but the stream on every other platform. So it is something that can be catastrophic uh, to Twitch, to YouTube, to Trovo, um, and a, a huge disruption to the stream. Um, and I'm a restreamer, and uh, it's... I, I'm on multiple platforms, so there are there's choice. There's choice where you want to be. Okay. This is somewhat working. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you, man. When we start putting on the highlights, things will start coming together for this thing. I think, I say, I think. Smooth that out a bit. Oh, is that why? Was that was that the? Yeah, there, I guess that is true. There's a lot of people that stutter that they they have no problem singing. So maybe what I just need to do is I need to think about everything as a song. And when I talk to you guys, I'm basically singing. All to you. hail is the that what you guys want? You want me to sing on Elsa's <laughs> channel? Huge! Much love for the follow, man. Welcome to some DLive premium content. <laughs> Aw, thank you for the drop as well. That's that's super Elsa, sweet. Of you. Someone just subscribed that's super to your sweet channel. Of you. How are you Whoa. going to react? How? How? Marco! Oh shoot, I think Marco left. I Marco 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 took off for the day. He has no idea that he just got a sub on 
D life from Mystic Angel Christina. Holy crap. <laughs> Mystic. My God. Okay, wait. Okay, I gotta get points for that, right? Let me um let me oh let me reopen up D Live because it's not working for me. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. Add points. Marco258 just became an important member of the party. Boom. There are perks and benefits with that. Uh, also, the gifter also gets that as well. Always. Oh, crap. He's got to be he's got to be in the channel for like 10 minutes. <laughs> he has to get XP, but he's not here to get it. So I'll have to make a list that, to add points to him. And what the hell? My light just turned on. I will add him to the wheel, guys, though. The wheel of, uh, of, of of possible winners. So let me... Uh, what's his name? Marco with a K. 258. Done. All right, perfect. Mystic, thank you so much. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> Uh, painting the dog is what I'm, I'm, I'm that's what I'm doing right um I need to think about what there we go the lightest point of the drawing would be here on the bridge of the nose I like I like that look too. We need to make it like there's little micro hairs moving into the eye. I don't want to blend it too much, but that's one thing that I can say I I miss one of the most is um i got so accustomed and used to hearing him breathe especially at night and that was that was one of the hardest things to ever try to get used to is not hearing his uh breathing or snoring or any of that kind of stuff right you just grew so accustomed to it that it's it became comforting um to hear so that first week was really hard I literally had to seek out um, YouTube videos that had uh, the sounds of dogs sleeping. And then what I did was I found one that sounded a lot like him, but I slowed it down because what's cool about YouTube is you can you can speed things up and slow them down as you play them. So often when I like listen to podcasts and stuff like that that are on YouTube, I'll put them at 1.5 speed because your mind can think faster than people can talk, right? So if you speed up how, how, how fast they talk, you can, you know, it's still comprehensible, right? Like. Military drills for, for speaking. Like, uh, like a cadence to speaking, like military marching drills, uh, similar, not, not exactly the same. <laughs> You'll be stressed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like it, it, military drills, you get stressed. Do it have kind of the same effect? Is it the stutter is because of stress? I don't know.
it's one thing that we can all kind of identify with, right? We've all tend to have lost a, either a loved one, family member, uh, a pet, um, somebody close to us. It's one thing. Loss is something that we can all have empathy for and... You know what I'm trying to say. I'm, uh... Okay, I actually like the way this is looking. Ah, uh, yes. And if you want, if you guys want to see pictures of that, that's in our Discord. Um, and the Adventures and Legends Discord, that is the, uh... There's some pictures of Mystic's, uh... Mystic's... Lovely friends there, as well as um, Elizabeth has pictures of her birds as well. And I want to encourage anybody out there, if you've got a pet or something like that, share it in our pet section. OK, so what I'm doing now is I'm laying in some lighter color. Over the darks that we did. Tripping over yours while eating the cheese container. Oh, Julia, thank you for plugging the Discord. Also, I want to send out a reminder to patrons as well. Definitely go to the patron Patreon site. Um, there's posts there and stuff like that 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 you may miss otherwise. Um, let me know you're there by uh, you're more than welcome. But also, heart or like. A um, a post. Let me know. Let me know that uh, that you guys are seeing it. <laughs> All right. Cool. 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 Yeah, we're not we're not going for realism, right? We're going for we just want the impression of him. I need to have the kind of a little bit more of a swoop. There we go. Yeah, guys, also on Patreon, like it is not just it's not just asking for money. That's not what it's for. It's it's a different kind of communication. You guys can start an account there on Patreon and you don't even have to donate anything. You can even just follow. Like there's a there's a following feature there. Um, and then, you know, if there is such a, such a thing, then you can decide at a later date or whatever. But it's it's. Um, I do. I'm I make sure to post stuff that's not just paid stuff i do stuff for public as well so it's not uh it's not i want i don't want to i don't want to make it something that it's like it's exclusive only to people that that pay for a subscription um i do do a number of public posts and, and what's cool is that i can tag stuff so you could see all the posts under a certain category so if you just want to see what the art downloads are. You can you can click art downloads and it'll list all of them. If you want to see, you know, the public posts, you can click public and see all the public stuff. Um, occasionally, I do a free art download that's available to everybody or, uh, or to patrons at any level. And if you're curious what Patreon is, it's basically just, it's a way of supporting the stream. It's a way of... Uh, Provide, providing me access to some of the materials that I'm painting with and doing so. Oh my God, what the hell is that? Hey, we got a new, new YouTube adventure. Welcome. 
Appreciate you big time. Come on in and say hi. I um we're on our slow and steady journey to 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 500. That's the goal. Welcome. I do a, just a big warning by uh, by joining the channel. Uh, I do three streams a week. I do a solo gaming stream, an art stream, which is what you're seeing now, and then I do a co-op stream. Uh, uh, co-op stream as in like a co-op gaming stream. And that's usually with, you know, it alternates every week. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for... Uh, for I Oh, Stephanie says I get a notification picture when I post something there. Oh my gosh, really? Stephanie, I apologize. If you're getting notifications at like four in the morning or two in the morning, I had... That was not my intention. I apologize. <laughs> That's not what I want. I don't want to. I don't want to wake you up or or do things like that. I I tend to post stuff at weird times, guys. <laughs> the new subscriber could be from like it might be even just from a video. It might not even be from the live presentation. That's why maybe they're not saying hi. Uh, I've I've been getting recently some subscribers from the shorts I've been doing. Um, I've been doing daily shorts for the people that don't know on YouTube. Um, so every 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 day there's been a new short, and I did that for the last month. I've been uh, doing a short every day. This is very taverny, isn't it? <laughs> this feel like I should be ordering a sarsaparilla right now. All right. Uh, what what I've really actually quite liked is uh, Cam has uh, decided to do some shorts as well. And uh, I think he's been happy that I made that recommendation to him. It is the happy first of March. That's right. It's March already, guys. Holy cow. You know what that means? That means St. Patrick's Day is coming. Woohoo! Uh, I'm in a weird time zone, so I get notifications all night, not only during the day. Ah, but yeah, you're probably up most of the night, though, right, Hendrik? If I know you? <laughs> uh, it's a good thing not during the daytime time, because you're sleeping. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, so so we're getting a lot of good detail here, actually. I'm actually I'm actually uh surprised how much detail we're actually getting in this. Oh, it's the second of March there. Okay. All right. How is the future looking? <laughs> it's nice to know that the sun is not collapsed on itself. That's good. <laughs> not yet. All right. Let's see. I need to figure out what's what's happening here. I need to do some like spit stuff. There's a I gotta work worry about his teeth. Okay. And then he's got whiskers as well here too. There's a lot still to do. Okay. <laughs> I guess I also part of me is I've got a fear of if I post too much or if I post at weird times that people are, are you know, going to get annoyed and then unsubscribe and, you know, like, you know, like it's 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 a weird thing. My brain does weird stuff to me sometimes where I'm like, I, I think about that stuff and it's I shouldn't. I really. People subscribe because they want to be subscribed. Why? Why would I? Why would I think like that? You've been up for 26 hours? Holy cow. You gotta stop doing cocaine, man. <laughs> you gotta stop. Stop. You're burning the candle at both ends. Woof. 
<laughs> okay, let's... I think I, I think what I I've got a thing I need to do here where I I need to Oh, is it overcast there? It's starting to warm up here at least. We got dumped on by a ton of snow. Um it had and in fact I actually looked it up there it hasn't snowed like this here since 1938. So broke new broke records. It, so much so that my my father had to spend an extra day here, which wasn't a bad thing because I don't get a lot of time with my father. So it was nice. It was nice to take care of him instead, you know? And uh, he's been pretty happy with how we uh, have been taking care of the girls. Um, we tried, you know, potty training them, number one. That was the first thing. <laughs> and they respond better. They just respond better now to recall. I'm a little worried about Georgia because Georgia did. Um, she did. Uh, how should we say bond with me more than I was expecting her to. Um, when I would leave the room, she would look for me um, and freak out when I wasn't there. So there's a bit of a separation anxiety with uh, with Georgia, which is not what I intended. Um, so like literally when we were packing her up in the car this morning, um, she was shaking and I was trying to tell her it was OK. But, if, you know, so how do you communicate that to a dog, right? They don't know what's happening. They don't know where they're going. Yeah, the snow is just wow. It's all slush out there now. It's all slush. Okay, so when I've gone back and I've added a little bit more um, darks to the chin area, just because I need that shadow. I need a, sh a more dramatic shadow. And we're going to do the same thing here. There's going to be more of a, a shadow underneath. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, how old are they? They're, they're not that old. They're, um, I believe, uh, 18 months and 15 months. I think. You haven't tried cocaine? You know what? I haven't either. <laughs> but I hear, but I hear, but I, but I hear it gives you tons of, uh, energy. Or your body doesn't know that you're tired. And it was a funny joke. <laughs> Why is it happy birthday? Is it somebody's birthday today? Whose birthday is it? <laughs> I know it's somebody's birthday. St. Patty's Day is coming up, right? That's in March. I know that. Forgive me. Is St. Patty's Day... A, is that somebody's birthday? Is that St. Patrick's birthday? Why do we celebrate it? <laughs> All I know is we drink. So, does that mean I got to do a drinking stream? What day? What, what, wait, what day is March? Wait, St. Patty's Day is March 17th, is it? What day is that? I, I guess I could look up at a calendar. I'm just... I'm going to put more of a sh dramatic shadow here, so don't freak out. I'm not. Is it Friday? It's a Friday. It's a Friday. OK, Ooh, it's a Friday this year. Oh, boy. OK, 
Okay, my mind's already thinking. What are we gonna do? Play a really hard game and do a... I die, I drink stream? Should we play Drunk Souls <laughs> instead of Dark Souls? <laughs> stream will last half an hour. <laughs> But boy, what a good half an hour it will be. No, I, it, you got to drink responsibly, guys. You can have fun every now and then, but you got to be, be responsible. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. Friday, hey. <laughs> or we could do something else. We could do something else. Like, it doesn't have to be that. We could do... I I mean... Shoot, we could do a panel stream. We could do, like, an IRL type thing. We could do something... We might... We might make it... We might have to make it exclusive to, um... Places that, that don't DCMA strike, though. Because we want to play some music, probably. Guinness stream. A Guinness stream. Oh, man. I've been trying to think of what, where do I put the, um, the IRL streams, right? Because it's, 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 Difficult. If I'm going to do a mobile stream, it has to be on a single platform. So it could be on DLive, it could be on Twitch, it could be on uh, YouTube, but I can't I can't stream to multiple places, I don't think. Um, I'll have to look into that and see if I can do multiple places at once. But that's the one thing I, I need to do more of. I, I to be honest, guys, I want to work on a different overlay. For my streams and i just haven't had the time to do it uh again we come back to time time is so precious right guys it's so precious i appreciate you guys being here really do oh me okay so we got like it up the ears doesn't really need that much i think what we want to do is put a little bit more of a fuzz at the top against this dark background would look good so we'll just have a little bit of hairs kind of coming off so what i'm using right now for those that are wondering this is a, a flymax paint marker um they're one of the cheapest paint markers you can find all, out on the market they only make white and black um but they've got a nice tip and a good flow and for me, who's used to using a lot of pencil work and doing that kind of stuff, it's geared towards me. Again, whose birthday is it? Why is there happy birthday playing? <laughs> what the heck? I mean, I'm, I mean, happy birthday is a good song. Most people know it. You can hum along to it, but. My gosh. All right, have this nice roll kind of coming over like that. Need to be very, very specific with my, like it's almost like the fur underneath is wet and that's why it's got to look a certain way. My dog loved the water. Holy cow. Like, if there was water, he was going in it. He's a lab, right? And not only that, an English lab. So, for those that don't know, English labs were bred to for fishing boats. Um, they would swim out to the water. Their actual toes are webbed. Uh, fun fact. Um, incredible swimmers. And that's kind of what they were bred for. Now, the Newfoundlander uh, name was already taken. But they were... Um, they were bred in the UK um, 
and uh, like originated in the the Labrador Sea, which is why they were called the Labrador. Um, but uh, and so they're very, very similar to the American breeds. The saliva drip. Yeah, I know. Doesn't he? He he did have a lot of saliva. Uh, doggy droll. Yes. You just get used to it. <laughs> it's like it's there's no stopping it. You just get used to it. Great duck dogs. Yeah, well, American breeds especially. The American breed was a little bit slimmer than the uh, than the English breed, and um, English breeds were stocky. Like they were very very stocky, had wide foreheads, and were very um, very good in the water. The American breeds were great for hunting. Hunting like they had such a soft touch for their mouth that they could grab the pheasants with pheasants without hurting it or damaging it or the fowl, and and it. Um, and of course, a nose for finding it, right? So it's really cool to. There was an actual purpose behind why they were bred. <laughs> but other than that, they're also very smart, and that's why they were used for therapy. Great for uh, as family dogs, right? Uh, it definitely, it looks like him. It does look like him. I can uh, attest. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I'm the artist. <laughs> now we're going to put in some whiskers here. So my job is now currently to uh, to make Super Sar's life hell that she's going to have a hard time picking. So my job now is I've done I, we're doing this one. I'm supposed to do one to be better than this one. That's 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 the goal now. That's the new goal. Let's try and let's try and do a better drawing. Okay, and we need we need a little bit more reflection, light reflection on here. These are just little little spot white highlights. You know what? The teeth are never like that clean. Can we like can we add a little bit of yellow to the teeth? Like it is a dog. Like we have to be real about that. They're not bright, sparkling white teeth. He had good teeth, though. Like, that's the one thing I can say. I didn't have any teeth problems with him. Um, always important to, like, get a dog used to, you know, having their teeth touched at a young age. Same thing with their ears, right? You need to make sure that their ears are clean. And I don't really need to put too much here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. She's gonna be, she's gonna be pain, but it's, it's, you guys deserve a drawing too. So, um, and I can always make a print out of the, because I, I'll always have the digital copies, right? So, remember, we don't have to live with her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah.
Yes, yes. It's always important to clean their ears on a regular basis. Oh my gosh, speaking of that, I just heard Superstar come through the door. I think she's home. I actually think she's home. Oh, she's on the phone. Never mind. <laughs> I can hear her. She's on the phone. She was not able to go to work yesterday because of the snow. Um, and yesterday was payday. Um, but I don't think anybody made it to work, so. We were considered snowed in. Okay, I don't need to do too much there. This is a sketch. I mean, you know what? These are sketches, but they're, they're. I mean, I would say I would argue that this is a polished sketch, right? I, oh, crap. I don't know. Well, I'm keeping track of time, but you know what? So what? So what? <laughs> Let's. Uh, I'd say that one's, you know, pretty well polished, a polished sketch. Looks like my boy back up 100 percent. Let's get that piece off of him. Um, I don't mind it. I think it, I think I like it. I think it, maybe we'll do the same thing on the next one. We'll do a, we'll do a painted background. What do you think? Let's do that. So I need to get, I need to get a, um, another little form of reference here. Do, 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 um, oh, that's a nice photo of him. Okay. Looks polished to you? <laughs> I'm joking. You looks polished? Yeah. <laughs> okay. First things first, we got to sketch it in. Uh, start with the eyes. Did I did I miss a hydrate command? No, I, is my activity feed on Twitch not working? Hold on a second. No. I will hydrate though. I will hydrate. Thank you. Will do. Thank you, Mystic. You take you're you're taking care of me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Always try to make sure I've got liquid near me. For that very reason. No worries. I appreciate it. <laughs> Your heart is in the exact place it should be. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So about here. Smiling. 
Somebody was said they wanted drool, right? I can base. I I can. I think I can do some drool on this one. <laughs> Big drool coming out of the out of the face. That was one of the things that uh, dogs have that are um, different than cats, right? Cats tongues are like sandpaper, whereas a dog is like it's such a soft tongue. Oh, it's going to rain. Ah. Well, they, you know that they're 50% wrong half of the time. So there's still hope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this dog. It, perspective wise, it's a little weird. Uh, we don't know, Julia. They don't communicate. They don't tell us if there's an update or not. So I can't say one way or the other. Um, you know, you get you get to a point where you just you end up to stop caring. I went through phases where it's kind of like I, I cared a lot. Um, and then eventually I just become like everyone else that's on the platform. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> you know, it's. There's a lot of things I love, absolutely love about DLive. And then there's things that. I, um, I don't love, <laughs> so I know uh, I'm just being honest and true. <laughs> All right. So we've got nose giant nose here. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do a happy drawing. Because he was a happy boy, so... Okay. Oh, that ear comes out like that. And then the eyes. We need to really make sure the eyes are looking the way they should. Cool. Again, he always looked like he was wearing mascara. Yeah, he's got his big tongue sticking. He always had his tongue hanging out. That's how they get regulated their body temperature, right? Okay, so background. Let's do background. That's our first first thing. So we're going to get into the paints again. Um, let's get some whites. Start start with the white. Interesting. We're doing some white on an ivory or cream. Interesting look. I uh, can add some greens to it. Or did it dry up? <laughs> I don't think I can. There we go. It's 
Let's add some darker green. Yeah, there's, there's, it's funny. It's, I, I mean, maybe he wasn't smiling, but it was just the position his, he had had, it ended up getting these giant dimples, right? And we've always associate dimples with smiling, right? Or happiness. Uh, and it'd be contagious. So you would smile and it, it'd be almost like he's smiling back, right back at you. <laughs> Kids do it too, right? Kids will copy their mothers or fathers. They recognize faces and they will end up, you know, smiling back. It's almost like there's trees or something like that in the background. Kind of almost kind of almost feels like that, right? Add a little bit more water. Let's add some maybe some browns. And again, this is going to be kind of a interesting. Let's add some whites. would always give them away <laughs> oh yeah dogs dogs that's one thing about dogs they don't lie dogs can't tell lies <laughs> they're uh they're honest in their unconditional love And dogs don't manipulate, right? Like they, they, um, uh, Elizabeth, you, you, you're hearing somebody in the bathroom and it doesn't sound good. Is that why? <laughs> hmm. Let me see. Again, this is background stuff, right? This is all background. We're not supposed to pay attention to the background. Uh, 
Well, they always say like healthy, healthy bowels, healthy gut. It's a secret to it's a long life, right? Take care of your gut. Your gut is where a lot of all the bad stuff happens. <laughs> a lot of problems can be all all associated with the gut. Okay, so last time we 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 put in some some browns or something like that as a wash. Did we do that last time? We like put in some color, maybe as a background. Your stepfather's visit and there and then noises from the bathroom. Elizabeth, you're painting a picture, a very different picture for us. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I hope I hope I hope he's okay. <laughs> All right. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm laying in some some browns underneath the again drawing with paint because you know what you can draw with paint. I don't care what anybody says. Dry brush techniques. that off so what do i mean by dry brush techniques it's where basically you take a lot of the moisture out of the out, out of the brush and you're able to kind of put strokes in that um that leaves a lot of white behind or the color underneath it behind so um oftentimes it's again like a drawing technique right Thank you. Hail Comtech, how you doing? On kick. <laughs> Sorry if I was delayed in uh, responding to you just yet. Hail Comtech, yeah, I was just saying hi to you on kick. <laughs> how you doing? You're everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> I think everyone should be should be everywhere. I, I don't know. I I think it's. I we do go accustomed to doing you know having our pre preferences and what we uh where we prefer to be always, but at the same time, it's, it's healthy. We have got a happy birthday again. What is going on with this music? It's been happy birthday constantly. <laughs> uh, should we should we change it up? Should we change it up? What do you guys think? What do you want? What, you want me to change it up a little bit? Do you want something? Um. Let's see. I've got a live station. Do you want me to go to a live station? I don't know what they're playing. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody's hosting Elsa's channel. Hey. Thank you, host Victor. You host there, Elsa. What's up, Victor? Appreciate that, hosty host. I, I'm trying to find music and I'm like sucking at it. Let me just, you know what? I'm going to go. We're going to do, we're going to switch it up. We're going to switch up tempos. 
And uh, I don't know what they're playing, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. Hopefully, it's not an ad. Oh, that's very different. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 not what I was going for. I'm so sorry, guys. Let me. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play some piano or some guitar. That's kind of more of the vibe we're going with right now. This is a fallen friend. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Okay. Yeah, guys, uh, everybody welcome our new mod to the channel. The the one, the original, dare I say, Del Bold. Um, he's, he's wearing his mask right now. That's okay. We love him still. <laughs> it's clearly somebody's stalking him. <laughs> but Pablo Escabana is our new mod on the channel uh, as of today. So big, big, uh, big shout out to him. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to block this in here like that. Okay. Now we got black, so let's let's uh let's have some fun here. How much black should I put on? I don't know. Let's Let's mix it up. Oh gosh, I got green on my fingers. Okay. Good to know. Let's get rid of it. As we say, happy accidents, right, guys? <laughs> happy, happy. Who's a fellow OG? Oh, Vec. Yeah, Vec, there's a fellow OG. Friends from the Abbey. All right. So what I'm just using is a black and some water um, just to just to lighten it up a bit. And we're just kind of laying in some of the, the darker tones that are from the, the front. Like so. And we're going to be working our way down. We're going to put in a. Of course, we're going to go into the darks next, but before that, we're just laying in some of our kind of tonal tonal backgrounds that we can put colors on top of. So that's the idea is basically, OK, we the color. If you want to put a light on something, you need to have something dark below it before. Otherwise, it won't show up. Right. So that's kind of what we're that's the plan of attack. Right. As we. I'm laying in the darkness to put light lighter tones on top. Um, and for those tones to show up, I need to lay the the color underneath so that they, they're they're apparent. Elfrost, yes, we already did our little happy little trees, I guess, in the background. <laughs> I could turn them into trees if you want. Yep, labs do look like Clifford, right? I mean, he is a, a lab, I guess. The big red dog, you know that one. I remember from the old storybooks, but I know they've done movies and... Is there a TV show? I don't even know. So 
So what I like about the, the, the flat brush is I can I can kind of almost simulate hair using it. Um because it'd be in chunks, right? Okay, what's going on here in the face? A lot of folded skin. That's what's happening. Now we're going to have a little bit of darkness come in, right? That's where the opening of the mouth is. Kind of where that where the nose is going to be. It'll be darker underneath the under part of the nose, I guess. There's always uh, that center line, too, here, which links up. So. Oh, I went really dark. That's OK. We kind of need it for the nose. We'll go in with a pen and, and finish the rest of that. I need more water on it. That's what I need. Eyes need a lot more mascara, don't you think? <laughs> need to block these uh, these eyes in. Nice. Whoops. That's okay. We can we can fix that in post, <laughs> as they say. that makes all the difference. A little bit of liquid. Shadow it up a bit. There's a tongue after all. There really should be shadow underneath the head. I can always forget to do that. Under the neck, there should be a little bit more shadow. So we're just going to throw in some water. Dirty it up a bit. And voila. Okay. We got our basic, basic shape. Now we got to put in the detail work. You know what? Actually, I actually kind of think it wouldn't be bad to have... More of a, um, a shadow happening here, too. Kind of 
coming from from here. Because I don't want to, I don't want the snout to read as flat, right? That's the last thing I want. I want some detail in there too. So we're gonna make it a little bit darker. Just by simply even wetting the, the page, it will pull color from different sources. What's happening there? I need uh is that thing? Oh, I need it over here. Okay. Sand it off. Cool. Okay. All right, let it let it dry just a tiny bit. the stage we're at we're at the stage of it letting it dry <laughs> that's the stage we're at let's let's shift gears here let's go with having our sharpie pen and if it's dry enough we'll start laying in some of these darks hope it's dry enough thing that's super important is we got to nail the eyes. The eyes are those windows to the soul. So important. really deep brown eyes too. They were almost black. side on this side here. Almost don't even see the eye.
Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move. Starting on this side just because I think it's the most dry. <laughs> A bit of drawn ink on top. It's definitely when you want to have like a really dark part, makes it pop a bit. Okay. There, and then we've got the mouth here as well. Is that dry enough? It should be. It's a good thing about working with acrylics is that it dries really quick or quickly. Um, working, of course, with oils, it, it'll stay wet for tons of time. So you can work days and weeks on a painting and it will still remain wet that you can actually still manipulate. And um, I never worked really a lot with oils just because I didn't really enjoy the cleanup of it, especially when it was like, you know, the chemicals and turpentine and stuff like that you had to use. I just it, it, it kind of turned me off. Um, it's not stuff I wanted to play with, you know, like it just. Charcoal, so it felt natural to me. Take a piece of charcoal even out of a fire pit and start drawing with it, you know, like it seemed like a very maybe it's a primal thing. I don't know. I just I, I responded really well to that. Um, same thing with ink, India ink and things like that. Always felt natural to pick that up and, and play around with it. I don't know if anybody's ever played with India ink before. Um, if you add water to it, changes its its uh, consistency. You take a straw, you can blow it around the paper, um, and make it have a natural kind of flow and path. It's really, really quite, quite a neat thing to play with. Uh, ink is incredibly versatile. Um, maybe it's also why I love loved comic books so much. I really loved the ink work. Japanese ink paintings as well was always really, really neat. Yeah, but you could even uh, sketch with just ink, right? Like there's so, so, like cross hatching techniques. And um, I mean, again, I bring up comic books again because it, it was just such a such a um, a medium that I gravitated towards. Um, sure, there was the stories that that uh, that made me pay attention to it the most, and the characters and blah blah blah. But it was the it was the art style that I didn't really see anywhere else that I thought was really neat. It was like I was a big fan of cinema and film, and it was kind of almost like that, right? There's a lot of uh, cinematography done with um, with comic book layouts and pages and so unique too and there's no rules they, the rules are there to be broken there are some okay i i let me correct myself there are some rules just like in cinema whereas like the 180 rule and things like that you know with the camera um you know there's a flow to how panels work in communication with each other on a page you can't reverse that without causing confusion uh, to the reader. So there are definitely uh, narrative uh, rules and they differ in Japan and than English, right? Um, because books open the opposite way in Japan. So your reading is left to right, not right to left. Oh, drafting pens is what you meant. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. So I'm kind of adding a little bit more detail on this one, too, with some inks, just to see what happens when you ink on top. Um, oftentimes I do it the this way because I don't want to. A lot of times with pen work and stuff like that, I didn't want to dirty the pen with the ink, so I would put the ink on after you would color the drawing and then ink it all in. 
That was kind of a neat way of maintaining your your supplies. Um, so it was done with purpose of more maintenance than anything, right? Like you want to make your supplies last as long as possible because they're not cheap. <laughs> so therefore you have to get creative and how you do how you approach problems like that, right? Um, okay, so we've got this tongue here too. I'll play with that after. And I need to have definitely the the motion of where the no, it's also why a majority of art streams you see there uh, streaming on Twitch or any other platform in creative majority of the time, I would say I would argue 94% of the time. It's a very specific number. <laughs> um, you're going to see digital work being worked on. Um, now, there, Julie, there is there is a thing about digital work that gives it a lot more freedom and a lot more things you can do. Um, you know, you can fix things and, you know, like there's tons of reasons to do digital work. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not mar marking on that, but it's also has to do with the expense, right? Um, you pay for Photoshop or, uh, other drawing programs and it's like, well, it's a subscription service now, right? So, um, that in itself is its own expense, but... I don't know. I think um, there is something to be said about a hand-drawn thing. It, it, there's something that is definitely not AI. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> that's, that? That's always a, a good uh, subject to bring up, AI. For me, my everyone asks me, like, what do I think about AI art? And it's kind of like, it's, it's okay. It just... It's, um, you know, I, I'm excited to see where it goes and I'm excited to see where, how, where, you know, what freedom it gives people. And I think, honestly, I think it's just another tool in the toolbox. I think it's going to be kind of really cool to see what people come up with. Photoshop, when Photoshop came out, that wasn't the end of uh, photography, right? Um, now, with AI art, there's going to be a lot of bad AI art too, but that's just like any... Any medium, I think. You're, you're gonna get. You're gonna get. There's, there's bad art everywhere. <laughs> it's um. Again, I think it still takes an artist to put it together. But I don't think it's gonna replace um, artists because they're still gonna have to be at the helm. Now, the the argument might be made that, well. It will because you need more um, or you, you don't have to pay as many artists. Yeah. It's interesting to see, actually, if you start, if you if you understand how it works and how it makes images um, from noise is really interesting. I think that's incredibly fascinating. Um, you know, the, I imagine we're going to get to the point, too, where it's kind of like, well, we don't need to animate films anymore because the AI can do it. Just give it the art style that you want it to do. And um, the reference. And, you know, like you could you could turn anything into an animation. Be wild, right? Uh, same thing with like. You know, you could you've seen the voice stuff where they can, they can almost incredibly like nail down like Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice or something like that. or you know any 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 voice of an actor um to a T and it's kind of like you would not even know that it's an AI voice uh that's the scariest thing hey uh and the more samples the voice samples they've they have that it has access to the more realistic it will sound right um we're already entering that age of like um are actors, you know, still needed uh, other than to provide the uh, the voice and.
I mean, obviously actors are needed. They're, they're, they're needed for the emotion, right? A feeling. But. Yeah, but the more it has, the, the, the better it will, it'll become. It's really, really fascinating. It's kind of like, like we all know, like James Earl Jones voice for Darth Vader, right? You already know, like his voice is cemented for, you know, generations, and generations to come when, you know, I'm sure as Disney hands goes through many hands and produces more and more Star Wars, Vader's voice is going to be, you know, used and it's going to be AI that's doing it. Um, they've already done it in The Mandalorian where they've used AI voices uh, for what was it? Luke Scott. Was it Luke Skywalker? They did something with um, Mark Hamill's as well. But there's I know that there's something to do with um, AI, but it's it's so hard to tell, right? It's indistinguishable. And that's what's freaky about it. <laughs> and now here's the here's the next step. What about music? Right? AI would be able to kind of go, well, what, what would happen if Michael Jackson worked with uh, both the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix at the same time? What kind of song would be produced? Right. Like it's it's that is going to be a fascinating um, adventure. <laughs> to, like. And then there comes up the of like, well, then if that's the case, then what about copyright? Right. Um, SAR is experiencing that right now with school. Uh, you know, she's teaching a course and some of the students are handing in essays that are written by an AI. Um, and there's very little tools in the box to be able to detect it. Um, and it's not copyright infringement because it's an original. So what the heck do you do, right? <laughs> it's still cheating. <laughs> but it's it's raised up some interesting uh, subjects that's, uh, you know, to talk about for sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. Chat GPT. It's insane. It's insane. I've been following that. Yeah. It's just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I, I, like what's it going to be in 10 years, guys? Whew. <laughs> I mean, already you've seen like uh, the face apps and stuff like that. You can put your face on different, um, you know, movies and TV and was it called Reface or something like that? Just just incredible. Working a lot with the pen here. Let's switch it up. We need to add a little bit more darks in here. So now see the pen is blending in with the. Uh... Let's see. Let's go just a sad. Have different color here. I I have played with it. I have played it. I haven't I haven't really shown anybody what I've come up with. <laughs> um it's all about those prompts though. Those prompts are so important. They they change all the outcomes. Oh cool, I like what's happening here. We're getting a mixture of the 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 water with the ink. Oh I love it. Oh, yeah. So I'm getting a reaction here between the ink. Which allows me to, to fill in some 
some stuff. Cool. I like this. See, that's part of it, though. Like, uh, I don't know. It's again, it is it is it is a tool. Um, but like what I'm doing now is is sure, you could argue that I have a plan, but a lot of it is accidental. A lot of it is we're playing and we're seeing where it goes and, and we're reacting as as the as the drawing forms here. I'm making different choices based on what I'm seeing happen. And, uh, you know, AI will spit stuff out and you can play with it. And it. Get, I think the speed is what makes AI so incredible, right? Oh, Stephanie, no worries. No worries. Uh, Stephanie, uh, calling it an early night. Good luck to everyone. If I win, please donate to MD Wit 60. Aw, that's sweet of you to do. My goodness. Well, if you do win, Stephanie, I will, of course, let you know that you've won and you can make that call at a later date or whatever. But uh, it's it's um, it's, it's very sweet of you to say. Thank you so much. Have a very wonderful night. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, regardless, if it's five minutes, an hour, the entire stream, whatever, even if you just drop in and say hello you know, and you're busy, and you got to do something. I appreciate you big time. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Have pleasant dreams. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care. <laughs>
is adding to my watch time to try to get me uh, my with my goal towards YouTube. So I do, I do appreciate that wholeheartedly. If you give it a like button, that, that always helps. And then um, that means probably this this drawing was either claimed uh, or given away or or sold. I don't know. <laughs> I want to see this one finished. There's no sleep. OK, well, I will. I will. I will. I will hurry up in your honor. It, no, we're, we'll, we'll, it takes as long as it takes. But on average, I my drawings take about two hours. Usually two hours. Um, a drawing is my my usual uh, aim to try to wrap it up. Oh, no, right back at you, right back at you. You know, I haven't been do I haven't been streaming long, but I, well, I have come to realize that, you know, you just don't don't ever take anything for granted. Don't don't like it's it is the interactions I've been able to have with people here has been priceless. You cannot put a price on it. It is um, anybody who's ever thinking of streaming or whatnot. It, it you know, the, the trick is don't get frustrated by you know because it happens to everyone that starts right no one comes to the stream or there's you know like there's you know it's often about no discovery right like there's there's not really a way for people to even know that you're um live one way we can help with that is by again on our discord you can post when you go live we have a, a promote section promote an upcoming stream promote something that you know what i'm gonna be i'm gonna go live next week on something and it, I'm going to make a I'm, and this is what it's going to be about. It's more than just posting your link. It's more than just kind of like, OK, dropping a link when you go live. It's a section there, but you can kind of go, guys, there's a birthday coming up. I've got something you know planned or blah, 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 or I want to do something or you know what? I'm going to do a karaoke night or I'm going to do something right. Like it, use it as a as a as a venture to to create discourse, to, to talk. Um, Oftentimes, with a lot of promotion uh, channels on Discord, you see people just drop a link and that's it. Like, there's no discourse. There's, there's nothing. It's just. Um, and 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 admittedly, I did the exact same thing when I first started doing it. I was just I would go around to everyone's discords and I would drop my link whenever I went live. And I was just promoting, 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 because that's what you do. Right. But I've come to realize that. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it sometimes works. It sometimes doesn't. It's getting your, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, there's often, there's awesome times that people don't even do it. So it's, um, but I don't know. I just, I've, I've kind of felt like, I think the interaction is what we all crave when we stream. And I think that that's, that's, um, I'm just ranting and rambling. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I don't know. I think I, th I went through I'm go and I'm currently going through phases. I go through phases all the time. I second guess myself. I, I question myself. I'm like, why am I? You know, what am I? What's my purpose in doing this? What am I doing? What? And I think it's natural. I think it's a natural thing for people to go through. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I kind of figure out like what what is it that I want? Like when I'm, when I'm, put it this way, when I'm here said and gone, my, when my lifespan and my, my, my time in this earth is up, more than likely videos like this are going to stay, right? They'll be hidden away somewhere uh, and they're, they'll outlive me. So if this is, if this is part of what I'm leaving behind, then, you know, like it, it, it <laughs> Why do I, I get? That's just so stupid. Why am I upset? <laughs> Why am I? I'm getting emotional. It's stupid. <sighs> oh man, I like. Yeah, I'm talking about this as I'm working on my dog that passed away. I just, just uh, I'm sorry, guys. I 
Ah, shit. I, I just so stupid. Why am I getting upset? Oh. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry. Um, I never would have guessed there were so many amazing people. A pleasure to have met all of you. Can't wait. No, I, I just... I promised myself during the stream, I was just going to be fine. I'm holding it together. I'm good. I've had time to mourn. I can't see. Hold on. Ah. Okay. Give me a sec. I need to drink something. Mm. Oh, man. My thoughts go back to, like... People, I, yeah, I, aside from the dog, I'm, I'm starting to think about people that I, you know, went to high school with that are no longer here. Uh, friends that I learned that are no longer with us. And it's just, it's, I'm saddened by the lack of time I was able to either spend or know, get to know them more. You know, like there's just all this stuff that, And then you start thinking about family and it's uh, such an important, important thing to who we are, right? Oh, man. Uh, but the, anyway, one of the reasons why... We're, you know, I stream is I, I want to have, you know, I want to have fun. I want others to have fun. And I want to, uh, you know, I want to have, there's, there's, there's some magic that happens on streams that nothing else can replace. And it's just, a lot of times it's just interactions with, with others or experiences in games or, or, you know, just hilarious stuff that happen. Um, it's a unique thing. It's kind of, a, it's a mix of. It's a mix of, it's weird. It's like a mix of theater. It's a mix of, of, I, I, gosh, it, it is definitely its own. I mean, it's hard to, hard, hard to say, right? Hey, what, what are we, welcome back. Welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah, we, we were drawing, uh, drawing the dog today. I did this one earlier. This was, this is the, the first one we did. Uh, and now we're, I'm just, I'm, I'm in the middle of this one. <laughs> so we caught me at an awkward stage, but we're, uh, we're getting this one done. So what we're going to do is we're going to give one way. Uh, I don't know which one it's going to be yet because it's actually my wife that has to decide which one she wants. So my job is to make her life hell and make it, you know, very difficult for her to decide <laughs> and she better not flip it on me going no you decide you decide no nope, it's not gonna happen i can't pick i can't pick my 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 best boy against my best boy nope not gonna happen <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight Oh, yeah, she's going to have a hard time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. OK, so we're we're putting in some uh, some of the, the lighter stuff here. She's kind of shaping the, the head as well. Oh, <laughs> juice. Blood Hooligan, are you you're in the same boat as me? Do you get in trouble sometimes? 
<laughs> I'm always there. Uh, yeah, it's one of the perfect places to nap, too, right? <laughs> uh, Hooligan, just so you know, uh, y you have also been added to our uh, winner's wheel. So you, there, is a, uh, there is a high possibility that you might actually win a drawing as well. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, Blood Hooligan, by the way, I, I made sure to, to follow. I didn't realize you were, you were a streamer on, on DLive. So make sure to follow your, uh, your channel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, humor is a one one of those things that it's really hard. Like some people get turned off by a certain humor too. Like it's, it's a very, um, personal thing, right? Humor. Oh, oh okay, cool. All right. So, so you occasionally, uh, occasionally stream. Awesome. What what kind of stuff are you are are you into? Forgive me. I I like uh is it gaming streams? Is it chatting streams? Is it Oh okay. It's random. Variety. Oh gosh, yeah. I you don't you have no idea how much trouble I get into. I even in chats, guys. I I come across, I guess, on people's streams as being a bit trolly, and I I'm doing it with the sense of humor, uh, most of the time. But it gets me in trouble all the time. People like, I've I've noticed that where I'm like, I think everybody thinks I'm trolling them. I'm just joking around or just uh being my goofy self. But yeah, emo exactly. Emojis are so important. Like without it, some like some comments could be like without an emoji next to it can get you in serious <laughs> serious trouble. I guess it really comes down to if people people know me or not. Like if they know me, they know how I am, and uh, if they're you know, and sometimes. I got I forget that uh not everyone not everyone knows me as well as some others so they might take offense. <laughs> okay, how's that? that look in there. We got the Holy crap. Whoa! Will plays. Just became an adventure here on Trovo. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Uh, for everybody there, uh, Wu Place does uh, streams. He's, uh, he's, I think his primary platform is Trobo. Definitely go check him out. He's, um, he's worth it. I've, uh, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've seen some stuff. It's good. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I hope you're well. All right. Oh, much love, Wu Plays. Appreciate the follow. You don't understand emojis fire? Oh, fire. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Many eggs, many baskets, right? Um, I've always, you know, everyone has their preferences and stuff like that, too. I think giving people the, the choice is, is good and, um, you know, never be exclusive to a platform unless they're paying you to be exclusive. That's, 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 you know, know your worth, right? That's know your value.
Yeah. And yeah, streamers and communities um, will always outlive platforms, streaming platforms. So that's another thing. <laughs> but um, so yeah, story behind this this particular drawing is uh, this is this is my um, my late best buddy backup. It was a uh, English English lab, um, yellow lab, obviously. And what the heck? Oh my gosh! I got a double. Oh my, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I got a double whammy on two different platforms by the same person. Holy crap! Blood hooligan. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, apparently, I that's the first time I got to see an overlap. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> I got a double whammy. <laughs> uh, Paul Gulligan's proving he's everywhere, too. <laughs> no worries. Appreciate that. I Well, I'm on YouTube. YouTube is the one that I'm trying to get to my subscriber count up, because apparently my watch time is is a lot higher than my subscriber count. Um, so there's a lot of people watching my content, but not a lot of people have subscribed to my content, which is weird. I think it's weird, but it's crazy. But uh, yeah, YouTube is uh, definitely, we're trying to get to 500 by the end of the year is my goal. Um, so that I can unlock the communities tab because that allows me to do like different posts than just videos. Oh, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's basically three types of content that go up there. It's it's the art, you know, my art stream, my solo gaming stream, my co-op gaming stream, and then occasional IRL stuff. So that includes maybe stuff from dogs or um, some IRL stuff or, you know, it's it's my t my tube is me. It's that's. I do the things you're not supposed to do, which is mix the content. <laughs> but I'm not trying to get there quick. I'm 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 getting there. Yeah. Well, oh, much love. I can't believe Sar has not come downstairs to say hi to me yet. I, she might be still on the phone. <laughs> if that's the case. I never oh yeah, all you gotta do is throw your uh throw your logo on there. Appreciate it though. Oh dude. Hey, you have oh oh woo please, you have a different you have two different channels? You've got one for shorts? I've just started doing shorts uh recently. I've been trying to post every day. Uh, a new short um, and it's it's gained the, the channel a lot more views uh, YouTube's obviously pushing shorts right now because um, they, they want to compete with like I guess TikTok and stuff like that right so they're really pushing that that content it doesn't count towards time though uh, <laughs> appreciate it appreciate that guys Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. Congratulations. Yeah, I've had I've had the, I've had my YouTube channel for a long time and that was basically just so I could write comments and uh and and stuff like that on other YouTube videos back in the day and I never really posted much. Um you know, until I started streaming and I was like, okay, I need to post on YouTube now. Actually, well, that's not true. I had a comic book and pop culture store that I ran for close to a decade in downtown Vancouver, Canada. And um, I used the YouTube page, which um, for like promotions and just just um, just something for the store. Right. 
um, it was a like store slash gallery. It, we had a, we had a gallery associated with it, right? Oh, Division. Yeah, Division was a great game. Elsa, someone just Whoa. subscribed to your channel. How are you going to react? How? How? What? Thank you. What the heck just happened? So, Comtech celebrating a 19 month sub streak. My God. Comtech. Ah. Uh, I can't thank you enough, buddy. Thank you. Even if it was a one month sub streak. Honestly, thank you. Like. Oh, I was, oh, I was trying to say, uh, Comtech too. If you're, if you're, if you're on Patreon. Definitely do check out the Patreon because there is sometimes posts there that I don't post anywhere else. Um, and you should have access to it. So, or I think I'll try. I, I'm trying to be better about putting more stuff on the Discord about it. Okay, cool. Okay, this pen is running out of ink. I might have to... Sw oh, no. We still have a little bit more. Ouch. I just hit my head on the mic again. Awesome. Oh, there we go. YouTube adventure from Whooplays. Much love, man. Thank you. And, of course, anybody out here, if you need, if you need any uh, follow back on any platform, please let me know. Um, best way to let me know, to be quite honest. Okay, so I'm going to do one more plug. One more plug is my Adventures and Legends Discord. My Discord is set up to promote yourself as well as um, just have a little bit more interaction. You get to see an art, like the full art gallery there of uh, everything that's done on stream or has been done. Um, there's a... Uh, yeah, so that's the last thing I'll plug is the Adventures and Legends Discord. My link to that is in my about section on regardless of whatever platform you're on. I think there's, I think there's, um, do I have a command for, I have a command for it. Do I have an open up thing that I can put a command? I don't know if, sorry, <laughs> I'm, I gotta, I gotta get this drawing done. We're, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. There's just a lot of, dog has a lot of fur. What can I say? <laughs> getting there. We're getting there. I need to bring a little bit more paint out of this pen. I got. I got. I got to finish this drawing because Hendrick's got to go to sleep. <laughs> oh shit! Julia just posted the link. My gosh! Thanks, Julia. Appreciate that. But yeah, as I was saying, it was kind of like if anybody's got anything that they they need to promote or they need. I'm willing to help in any way. OK, OK, we're we're we're, we're making progress. We're making progress. I might have to change out this pen. Oh, I just changed channels my bad i did not mean to do that how did i do that that was weird all right let me go back all right let's do we're gonna do this just a little bit more upbeat we're just gonna go a little bit just give me itself a little bit more uh oomph that i need to finish this Okay. The paint pen dying on me is not what I was planning.
Okay. We also need to put some color in this thing. His eyes are not... Uh, this nice brown, so we're going to throw in the brown there. Okay, and then I need also color for his tongue as well. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Okay, where's the other one? There it is. Just adding a little bit of like purple to the tongue. It's not just pink, right? A little bit of purpleness in there. And then I will have a little bit of a uh, little bit of white to, to soften it up as well. We're also going to put in a little bit of because we need spit and stuff like that, too, right? <laughs> Feel free to subscribe, follow each other and whatnot. Definitely. Uh... All right, let's get this going. Yeah. Uh, quite a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, that is, that's actually one of the, one of some, some of the Patreon uh, perks. Um. I've draw I've done them live as well. Like I've actually drawn um, some requests uh, live. Some of them, some of them ended up being commissions, right? Like somebody would commission me to, you know, and, and they get the next drawing or the or the where they pick the subject matter. Um, so that is that's always a uh, always a possibility. Um, but uh, part of the perks too is as a Patreon member you get extra bonuses to win. So what I do is I have a bunch of names on a wheel. I'll show it to you real quick. Um, so for instance, oh, let me open this up. Oh, come on. One second, sorry. I'm trying to open it up, there we go. So I have, a, I have a wheel here that has a bunch of names on it. And some of these are from subs. Some of these are for uh, well, when people tune in and stuff like that, they all basically um, type in chat and then I add them to the wheel. And then part of the Patreon perks is that you get extra chances to win. So that's part that's part of it. Um, so and 100 percent of all the proceeds to that goes to pay pay for this stuff, <laughs> which is art supplies. They're damn expensive. Um, but. Also, oh, another thing, too, is you get mentioned uh, on each stream. You can see the little scroll bar there. That's all the Patreon members. And then at the end of every video that I that I produce, you also get a shout out there as well. Um, I think it's if it's above like the first level or whatever. I should get a shout out regardless, I think, if not, if not mistaken. All right. Enough self-promotion, right? <laughs> I like Patreon, yeah, for that very reason, is the fact that I get to control how much I can give back. And like, the more supportive people are, the more I can give back to them too. Like, it actually has a structure to it. I like it. It supports the arts. Um, I highly recommend it. Um... Oh gosh, <laughs> Julia's plugging the Patreon now. Uh... I, I think it's a fantastic site. Not only that, but the, you know that I think it's 92% of everything goes to the creator. So I think Patreon takes an 8% um, cut, which is not much. Which honestly makes sense, right? Like, so, so that's, there's, there's comfort in that. I also like the fact that, that people can also um, 
they can pause their subscription. Like they, you can, you have total control. Um, you don't have to cancel, but you can actually even pause and go, you know what, money's tight this month. I can't really do it. You can go, you know what, I'll do it next month or do it every other month or even, and here's the, here's the, here's the real kicker. You can even donate a particular amount going, you know what, I don't, uh, you know, regardless of tier, I just, you know what, this is what I can afford. I'm going to give you this much. And it's like, or it's, it could even be a one-time thing, which is like, so I think the control is given to the the patrons and the co control is given to the creator in equal sense. And I, um, I'm i so happy to have found it, to be quite honest. Um, no, it's all good, buddy. Uh, I'll take a look and see what I can do, but I, I love to take uh, uh, take a look at my pick of my dog. He's a Malshi. I would love something like this of him. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'm. You know what? Shoot me a shoot me a Discord message or or something like that afterwards. And uh, yeah, I'm always looking for for content as well. So. Um, Yeah, a big call out to everyone. If you've got a pet that you wouldn't mind seeing on stream, done. Um, you know, like my, my, my Discord DMs are always open. <laughs> okay. I've got a bunch of spit happening on this uh, tongue. <laughs> who, who was it that asked for more slobber? I think it was Hendrik. Andrew's like, we need more, we need more dog slobber. Well, we're going to get our fill today of dog slobber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I appreciate that, Julia. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. We're get we're getting there. We're making progress. I'm happy with what how how it's kind of coming out. The pay pen's being a little fussy today, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, I like that extra highlight here too. I like that. Oh, no worries, man. And also no pressure. Also, listen, Woo Place, you do not have to do any kind of paid thing on Patreon. You can there's a simple follow button there. You can even follow the, the Patreon. I do public posts there as well. So don't think it's just just uh payment only, right? You I, I always ask people just do what 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 you what you you know what you think you can. Um and not uh never ever You know, you got to take care of number one first, you know? <laughs> awesome. Uh, 2 a.m. here in the UK. Have a great stream, buddy, and I'll be in touch. Much love. That is true. You're in the UK. I totally forgot. Oh, gosh, it's going to be super late for you. Holy crap. Much love. Thank you. Thank you for, for dropping in and saying hi and for giving me the uh, what, what are we going to call that? The, the club sandwich follow the clubs, the the uh, the uh, the full house. <laughs> oh, good night, guys. <laughs> Much love. We'll catch up. Who knows? Maybe we'll do some sort of co-stream of something in the future or something like that. Who knows? I love I love playing games even if I'm bad at them. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. We've got making progress. We've got this neck. We need to do a little bit more for the neck here. 
Um, there needs to be a little bit more definition on the front of the nose here. A little bit here. This is looking pretty good. There needs to be a little bit more of a transition from what I'm seeing here. That, so if I add a little bit more of the, the paint, I don't want to make it too muddy. At the same time, there needs to be a little bit more of a transition between the dark and the light here. It seems to be a natural light change happening from here. So I think if I could just get a little bit more paint out of this pen or switch to a brand new pen. I think it's that's that's pissing me off. Let's switch to a new pen. <laughs> you know, there's something when it comes to a point where it's like, you know what, the tools make all the difference, right? Uh where oh my freaking pens. Um Oh great elf. Great, 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 great. Come on. There we go. All right, here we go. Ah, we're down to our last one. We're down to our last one. It's the last one. All right. Okay, so the way these, these things work, basically, it doesn't have any paint on it yet, right? We got to shake it up and get the paint out, so... Give it a good shake because it's been sitting on a shelf for how many years? I don't know. And then we're going to dab it. And hopefully get some paint. <laughs> Come on. There we go. It looks like it's got a nice flow to it. Oh, it still needs to be mixed up. Yeah, it's it's it needs to be mixed up a lot. Ah, there we go. Look at that flow. Nice. Okay. Let's wipe it dry. And now we should be able to get a nice flowing color. There we go. Look at that. Much better. Okay. <laughs> oh man, what an emotional roller coaster I've had today on the stream. My gosh. I can't believe I was getting bro broken up about. <laughs> Thinking, I was, you know, my thoughts are like, okay, time on this planet is limited. I was thinking about, you know, peep generations from now discovering the video from years and years and years ago. And it's kind of like, it's so, it's, <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, the, the, the backup, they're backing up your stream. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm drawing back up. They were searching for how to back up something and this popped up some for some reason <laughs> okay Need a little bit more of a flow for the hair. And I think one way we can do that is by having it kind of like, again, it's going to be kind of like wet chunks, right? So we got to think about how the hair looks. It's more than just lines, like grouped up into chunks here. But yeah, I can I can understand like they're, they're to have, you know, a pet of your own um, memorialized.
trip to Eskerly's. Oh, is that is that what there's what your local art star is called? Yeah, for me, it's off, most oftentimes I look for sales at um, at art stores here. Uh, sometimes they, they're, it's seasonal or sometimes there's sales. Um, so I always kind of keep my eye on that. Other than that, it's ordering stuff off Amazon, as sad as it is. But oftentimes I can find uh, a better deal because if you buy something in bulk or add something to it, Oh, all the architects go there. Hendrik, yeah, the second time you've mentioned an architect thing, are, have you? Uh, do you have architectural experience, or were you were you involved as a draftsman? Or this is not the first time you've mentioned architects, so. And forgive me if I'm uh, just reading into things, but I was just like, oh. Uh-oh, he's gone silent. <laughs> no, he's writing. He may be writing something. I don't know. I scared him away. No, I finally made him go to sleep. He's like, what would an architect say? I'm joking. Oh, okay, cool. Call the three joining platforms on live. Back up. Got it. <laughs> So, guys, do you want to know um, if backup was female, what I would have called him or her? So if if we got a female, we were going to call her Mayday. <laughs> and if we had two of them, it would be like Mayday, Mayday, I need backup. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like unique names for dogs. <laughs> uh, I named my friend's dog, believe it or not. It was actually done live on stream. It was during my Far Cry New Dawn playthrough that we came up with a name for his dog. His uh, his his dog is a Portuguese water dog, and uh, we named him Gnarly. <laughs> during that stream and his wife went for it. She's just like, yeah, that sounds awesome. It's been a game changer for the industry. Oh. I forgive me. My knowledge of it is is uh, limited. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. We need a little bit more definition here. Oh, so nice to have a fresh new pen. Oh my gosh. Makes such a difference, guys. Woo. Awesome. <laughs> oh, Julia. I love that. I love that. Forward, forward. Uh, <laughs> it only works though if if he was backward, right? Like, yeah. Like, it, <laughs> but that's cute.
But imagine forward and forward and backward are, 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 as two dogs. <laughs> you get so many good like looks from other uh, other owners when you're like training and calling or calling them forward, back up <laughs> or forward, backward. They'd look at you like you're confusing the hell out of the dog, man. <laughs> Okay. We're getting close. We're getting really close, guys. Really close. I'm gonna be given given a given a draw on a waste really shortly. Uh so if you need to do a bathroom break, do it now. Do 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 do. All right. They named his their male dog Kitty. <laughs> You're Kitty Kitty. <laughs> oh, wild. cool it's a 3d oh okay gotcha i know what it is now so like when building a house it does like a 3d representation of it and um and then you can you can it can give you all the information by clicking on a certain room that kind of thing so it's a great way to give clients a, a way to like almost like walk through the home or see the home from an angle from let's say the door of a of a different room right so you could actually kind of see what would be visible very useful for for architects right um it's not i'm not saying it's not like a vr thing it's not like i'm not saying that i'm just saying it's it's a way for you to kind of go okay you know from this angle you know for design it's probably just amazing so useful yeah Oh, yeah, for the builders as well. Yeah, like for a contractor, a contractor would absolutely love that. Architect, contractor, and an interior designer. That's one way that, you know, they can all use the same, like, what, API or whatever. Really cool. It'd be really neat to design a design a home. Be a wild experience. All right, check it out. Check it out, Hendrick. I got I got some some drool. We got drool action happening for your request. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, we can put on some uh, some of these whiskers. Dogs have whiskers, too. And then it's like, oh, now now it's coming together, right? It's starting to starting to be a dog. They have eyebrow whiskers, too, believe it or not.
Okay. So right now, what we're doing now is just final assessment. Any areas that we need to 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 finally tie together. We're just looking at the thing overall. I kind of think this needs to be a little bit softened. And then and then we'll have our our backup. So this has been an honor to him. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nope. I, I I like unique names. I mean, calling your dog Rex. No offense. It's 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 a pretty common name, right? I mean, we all end up developing like nicknames for dogs anyways, right? At least I did. I had my little nicknames for backup as well. <laughs> she shoots around the room when you show up. Named Icy, <laughs> Siberian Icy. Is that was that how the name was spelt too? I like unique spellings too. That's really cool. All right, we are we are on the verge, guys. I know you're very patient. I gotta ask does this look like my boy? This is, does look like him. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much trouble tonight. Drip off the tongue? <laughs> drop coming off the tongue. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, Wait, wait, what? Uh, my family had two far furrow hounds, Cleo and Parta. Partra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me too, but asshole doesn't count. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? This is the first drawing or pair of drawings that we've done on the channel that we never... I, I didn't crack open the um, the pencil crowns. This is the first, I think, one on the channel that we never did pencil crown on. I just realized that. Wild. Cleo and Petra. <laughs> oh, did we have, did we have a uh, autocorrect or a, a misspelling? Is that what happened? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Happy accidents, as we say, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the way these have come out. Definitely. Uh, definitely him. 
in both in both sense. My gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Oh man. So I always have a trouble. How do I how do I even display these? Like this? Should we bring up the wheel? We'll bring up the wheel. Um Share the space, guy. There we go. Oh my gosh. So the secret word of today, you know, I, I it's not gonna be so secret. We're of course we're gonna say it's backup. If you type backup in the chat on any platform you're watching on, you know, like it you don't have to go to all the platforms to watch it, but it's choose a platform, whatever platform you have access to, type the word backup. I will add your name to the wheel and uh, we're going to come up with a winner at the end of it. Um, OK, now, forgive me, I'm going to have to grab. Let me oh, I need my keyboard. That's what I need. Let me, uh, there we go. All right. We got, Ju uh, we got Elizabeth flood. And we got Hendrik Eber, man, Hendrik, you're on like hour 28 or something like that. I don't know what, but man, you're a trooper. Hope you hope you will get some sleep after this. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It went it went, made it old. That's interesting. Uh, we got Julie Ann, of course. I just love Julia. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. Twenty nine hours. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope it'll be worth it, my friend. Um. Awesome. OK, we got some we got some uh, final entries there. We need to. We need to roll the dice or shuffle the deck. Um, that's usually our, our, our plan of attack here. We will we'll shuffle the deck. I'm trying to see if there's any number of significance that backup had in his life. And I don't think that there was a. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh Okay. Um, that's interesting. Supasar with a backup in the chat. Um, I guess my, I mean, I, is that, is that, is that even legal? I, I'll make an exception on this point. Um, you better not win, honey. <laughs> you better not win. <laughs> um, okay. So let's. How about Sard? How many times should we shuffle the deck? Give me a number. There are six letters in backup. Yep, that is true. Uh, Superstar is probably not list like she probably has me on mute. She always <laughs> might as well stay up. Oh, she gave me a 25. All right. Oh, Blood Hooligan, you're here. Uh, type back up in chat, Blood Hooligan, and I'll add you to the wheel. Uh, so we got 25. 25. You know what? I'll do 25 and six. How about that? Superstar gave me a 25, and we'll do six as there's six letters in backup's name. <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> She's like, oh, she said 15. OK, yeah, because I said one in 20. All right, we got to we're going to add a blood hooligan as a last entry. Unless anybody else wants in. Let's do that. Uh, blood hooligan, you're a sub on DLive and you were here during the stream. That way you get two chances to win. 
There you go. You've been entered. So we're going to do 15 and 6 for a grand total of 21. Because there's only one. There's only one backup. And he might, might as well be a critical hit. So a critical hit plus one is 21. Let's do that. Backup is almost like a blackjack. I think that's appropriate. Let's do it. All right, guys. Final entries. Last call. Here we freaking go. Um, let's get let's get some music that's more pumping than this, right? Where where? Let's get some music. Music, music, music. What do I want? What do I want? Quick, quick, elf. Quick, pick. All right, you guys ready? Let's freaking go. Let's 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 shuffle the deck. Twenty-one times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right. Boom. First shout out of the evening. First person I would like to shout out here is the lovely Elizabeth. Elizabeth's much love. You're the first first one to get, get get some shout out love appreciate you oh there's a bold behind it that's what happened okay we got Pablo Escanaba our newest mod on the channel thank you so much man I will I'll send you a private DM about how to be a mod soon he, he said he's he's never done it before <laughs> all right we remove him and keep on going and she's like, I knew it. Oh, wow. The, the latency. We got ah oh, the ever lovely Mystic Angel Christina, who showed again some love tonight. Thank you so much. So much. Only one entry gone. Big shout out to Renzo Scriber. Renzo Scriber, lover of Seinfeld, lover of Lord of the Rings. Streams on DLive and Twitch. Oh my gosh, we got Mystic Angel with another hit. Much love. This is a bit, this music is not, not, my, not my jam right now. Let's try this one. Uh, nope, that's not the one I want. Oh my gosh. This load is flat. Oh no, not again. Not again. F you, Skipper. What? I. The music's driving me crazy, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me find one that I'd like. Honestly, I want. I want more hype. Let's go. Oh my god. This is the one I was on. Nah, screw it. Let's just go with it. Let's keep it spinning. I'm hopeless. I am hopeless. <laughs> we got okay. We got the we got the bolded version of Blood Hooligan. Blood Hooligan, much love. You're not out. You're not out. You have another another chance to win. <laughs> my, my gosh, I'm terrible today. We got Mystic Angel Christine. Wow, Mystic, you're coming up a lot now. Whoa. You gotta keep it spinning. So the trick is, guys, you don't want your name landed on right now. That's that. That's how you play this part of the game. You want to be the last on the wheel, Mister Badass. Thank you so much, man. He's asleep right now. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, oh no, Elizabeth. Of course, when you have more chances to win. Your name's going to come up a lot more, right? But the truth is, oh, we got MD Wit 60. Much love to MD. We play Sea of Thieves every other Thursday. Oh, is it going to be Gamer Cam or is it going to be Linz? It is Linz and John Paranormal. She couldn't ghost that pick. We're going to keep it spinning. Linz has a lot of entries, so we you want her name popping up the most. Uh, oh, no. Stephanie went to bed earlier tonight. What's up, Steph? <laughs> I'm 
I'm shaking the table. Oops. We got one of my favorite dudes, Comtech. Big, big shout out to Comtech, who also celebrated a 19 month sub streak tonight. Uh, not an easy task to accomplish. Um, talking about time, that was a significant amount of time. Thank you so much, man. You love the Sea of Thieves streams? Yeah, they've kind of turned into drinking streams, haven't they? They've uh, they've they've taken their own its own entity. Oh my gosh, we got Lindsay Shop Paranormal again. That's good for you guys, not for her. You like the Sea of Thieves? Okay, that's good to know. A little a little bit of craziness happens. Oh, is that Gamer Cam? Ah, uh, Gamer Cam. I'm streaming with him on March second, which is uh, tomorrow. Holy shit. Tomorrow we've got our Dying Light makeup stream because we missed our last one. <laughs> uh, that is a late, 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 late show for us. So, hey, Death Thinker, how you doing, buddy? Lindsay John Paranormal, big shout out to her. We did uh, two drawings today, Death Thinker. We did uh, of uh, backup. Uh, Slider 1611. If you like Call of Duty Mobile, he is the streamer for you. Go check out his channel. He, uh, he kicks ass. He almost wins every game. One of those is a lie. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I wonder what might, what's going to happen when your, uh, when your sub runs out. If your D-Live isn't fixed. Well, Elizabeth, all you got to do is send a ticket. They will get to you. They will and just follow it up. Karaoke Ken, shout out to him. He's uh, does karaoke streams as well as music streams. Sometimes some people confuse those as being the same thing. <laughs> A joke. Comtech, no, you don't want your name coming up. Comtech, big shout out to you, man. Much love. All hell, Death Thinker, guys. Death Thinker is uh, he's 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 got he knows what our streams are like. They take a lot of preparation. They uh, they do. He's a, he's a fellow creative art streamer. Definitely check out his channel, guys. Oh, we got our newest Trovo sub today. Or wait, no, this was our new sub on D Life. I can't. Yes, you're right, Mako. 256. Much left. Oh yeah, he got gifted the sub. He doesn't even know he's a sub yet. <laughs> That's the worst, hey? When he doesn't even know. Oh no. I'll I'll, I'll send him a message. We got. Oh, is it Elizabeth or Julia? It is Elizabeth. Much love, Elizabeth. You're not gone yet. You are still on the wheel. We are down to 25. The first number that Superstar picked. The thing that's got me really worried right now is Superstar's name has not been picked yet. And that's the number one goal here is to eliminate her. <laughs> because I'm, she's putting me in a very bad position if she wins. Julia Ann. Aw, bolded. Bolded with love. <laughs> I don't know why it bolded. It was weird. We got... Oh, is it Julia or Stephanie? It looks like it's Stephanie territory. Big out shout out to Steph. She's been helping me so much, actually, with uh, audio issues and stuff like that on my streams. Giving me those thumbs up. So thank you so much. Oh, Mythic Russ. A global partner on DLive. I appreciate the support. Mythic Russ is also a Patreon supporter. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Dale Bolden with love. <laughs> Cop. Oh, no. Crap. Comtech. I think that's it. <laughs> Wait, is that? What is that? Is that? Is that an emoji for a hug? Is that a hug? There's that he's crying. <laughs> he's also a unicorn. Honey girl, wow! Honey girl, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? Doogie, Doogie, eighteen seventy-two. Big shout out to Doogie. <laughs> Nurgle Pepe, Nurgle Pepe. It's a Nurgle Pepe. It is. It's like a like a whale. <laughs> oh, Stephanie, I appreciate your. This is from her sub on Twitch. Much love, Stephanie. Thank you so much. 
We gotta keep spinning. We, guys, guys, superstar's name has gotta be picked. This is not good. This is not good. Regrets were made. Mystic Angel Christina, you are not out. You are still in it. You haven't seen Dougie in years? I've, I've seen him on Twitter. I follow me on Twitter. Uh, so what about spankings? Do not piss off a mod. <laughs> Give me spankings. I'm good. I'm not subscribed to your DLive channel, but uh, best thing is I can come over here. Absolutely. Honey girl, I do. I do have many platforms. You're more than welcome on any of them. Um, right now, just for other reasons, I've got Steel Live set as sub only. Um, and there's just other issues on the on the platform, um, and until they change, uh, it's going to remain that way. Okay, so let's let Elizabeth flood. Oh no, is that the wasp one? Oh, wait, no, it didn't land on you. I looked away for a second. Don't ever do that to me again. Okay, we got to get rid of Superstar. We got we got Viper kills, Viper kills. Ah, uh, much much love. Thank you so much. We we got to keep it going though. We got seventeen left. Okay, yeah. It's, I mean, you're able to still like. Now I've got a problem on YouTube right now that you can't see in the YouTube chat, the other chatters, but you could see it on the stream itself. We got Death Thinker, Death Thinker. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you so much. Unfortunately, you were eliminated this round, but uh, there's always, always next week. Okay, we got to keep it spinning. All right, superstar, 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 superstar. Super nope, it's Julia. Is the lovely Julia. Oh, thank you so much, Julia. You were super awesome tonight. Also, plug, you know, plug in the stuff. My gosh, uh, I felt the love. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's meant for you. Fuck you, Sar. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just doing this to make me look bad. If you win, I'm gonna freaking. Okay, MD Wit, big shout out to MD. She's still in the race. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, by the rules, I. We got, we got Elizabeth Flood in the house. Still in the race. Okay, what are we? We're all, we got the Dirty Dozen. No, the baker's dozen. I can't read. Oh, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Again, your time here is valuable to me, and it's the it's the it's the the top and premium currency you could ever give is your time. And big shout out to you guys. Big, regardless of whoever wins here, anybody who's been eliminated on the wheel, anybody who's still on the wheel, thank you. And even those lurkers out there that aren't participating. Much love to you. I see a ton of you out there. Um, whether you've got me tabbed or, or whatever. Much love. <laughs> okay. I'll do I'll okay, I'll get it down to the final ten and then we'll do a we'll do a call out. Oh! Oh my gosh. Blood hooligan. Ah, oh, you almost made it to the to the final ten. Much love, man. I really appreciate you and all, all your love tonight. Hitting all the platforms too. Thank you. But we got we the show must go on. We're now into the actual dozen. The dirty oh no. Oh Elizabeth. I think that was it was not meant to be. Shoot. Okay. We've got one more to spend, and then we'll do a call out. Go Sar. No. Oh my god, I can't believe she's surviving. Mystic Angel, Christina, can't say enough words. Okay, so we've got 10. We've got Super Sar. <laughs> we got uh, Mystic Angel, Christina. We've got Lindsay John Paranormal with four entries. She is the monster right now. She's dodged every bullet. We got MD Wit, Mythic Russ, Hendrik Eber, and still one more for Stephanie Thompson. So right now, you guys want Linz and John Paranormal and Superstar's name to pop up. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it is the man who should be going to bed right now. B is for bed and backward slash. We said bed. Hendrik Epper, 
The H man, big shout out to him. Much love, Hendrik. Unfortunately, it wasn't, wasn't meant to be this time, but you're, I always welcome you back for the next one. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for spring. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's right. All right, here we go. Oh, Mystic, no! I think that's your last one. Mystic, big kisses and hugs. Okay, it is going to be you guys versus Lens and John Paranormal. You're still in it, Sar. You're still in it. <laughs> oh my God. I think this is the first one you've ever participated in, too. Oh, Mythic Russ. Mythic Russ. It was not meant to be. All right, here we go. Spinning, spinning that bottle. You ticked the hit for Sar. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, it landed on Linz. Superstar dodged a bullet. She's, she's seen the Matrix. She's Neo. Is she the one? Okay, we're removing Linz and John Paranormal. Here we go. We got, oh my God. The final, what is it? The final six? Oh my gosh, he dodged the bullet again. Linz and John to Paranormal took the hit. Now we're in the final five. The lucky five. Oh my God. Oh my, no freaking way. No way. Linz and John Paranormal got eliminated. Oh no, she's. it's a four-way tag match between... Some amazing people here. Superstar, MD Wit, Stephanie Thompson, and Linz and John Paranormal. Oh my God. I can't believe Linz had four chances to win. She got fully eliminated. Fully. Uh, I can't. I, uh, I can't. Sar, if you win this, everyone's going to say it's rigged. I can't. Uh, okay. Stephanie Thompson, MD Wit, and Superstar. My hands are here, guys. <laughs> oh, no way. MD Wit. MD. Okay. <laughs> I added your name thinking that this was not going to be an issue. Oh my God. Okay, so we've got Superstar and Stephanie Thompson. Oh, I can't. I'm just going to spin it. Oh, no fucking way. You have to be bloody joking. Stephanie got eliminated. We have Superstar as our winner. What the actual little literal fuck. You cannot, you cannot tell me that this, what that, there is no way you only had one entry. I put you on. I can't believe this. Now, everybody knows this wheel, like uh, wheel of names. You cannot rig at all. Like it is, it is 100% legit. Holy shit. It's bad. You know, if you, I can't believe in whether you think of like divine intervention or whatever, the boy didn't want to leave your side. I can't. Uh, oh, I'm wrecked. I can't. Uh, I'm I'm done. I'm literally done. I can't, uh, uh, okay. Well, Superstar has, uh, figured out how to rig the game. Apparently she's made it so that she doesn't have to choose. Officially, she won on the winner's list. I, I hope everyone doesn't throw me some hate for it.
but it's uh maybe it was meant to be you know you guys know i'll make it up to you i'll make it up to you we'll do something next week we'll do something good i love you guys so much thank you for uh again for your time tonight i want to i want to just say you know i've been uh really emotionally charged this stream Yes, I will, Superstar. I will make it up to chat in another stream. Thank you guys for being here. I'm uh, I'm gonna go get a hug. Uh, I love you guys so much. I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, may all your hits be criticals and your adventures be legendary. And uh, you guys are the best. And uh, I'm happy to have met you all. All right. I. I, I got a critical hit. Uh, much love, buddy. Okay, I got I gotta end the stream. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good night, everyone. Take care, and I will catch you guys on the next one, which will be tomorrow night. Dying light with Gamer Cam. We're at the late, late, late show. Make sure to drop in and throw all your as many emojis as possible. Love you all. <laughs> Take care. All right, I gotta go out. Bye.